Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today is a special day because it is sponsored as a hashtag ad stream from Path of Exile in celebration of their new expansion, Siege of the Atlas. Uh, it adds two new giant Cthulhu monsters, uh, which, are pretty, which is pretty rad, and I would like to beat them up. However, here's, here's uh, kind of what happened. I put in a lot of time on this game, getting to know it before this, before today. Uh, but I did it all on Xbox, and the expansion's not out on Xbox yet. But we're gonna play the new expansion on PC. But to do that, I need to roll a new character. The one that I, the one that I played before was a necromancer kind of. My thinking was like on Xbox, probably not gonna have that like razor precise control, clicking exactly where I need to go kind of thing. I was like, why not let skeletons do the work for me? And it was a fun build. Uh, but uh, I'm leaving that behind. It's time to it's time to become a professional. Also, um, okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, there is a there is a command that's just a link to more info about the game. Um, you want to click on that to learn more about Path of Exile. I'd appreciate it, and so would my sponsor, Grinding Gear Games. Uh, before I get started, a couple notes about Path of Exile. Um, copy aside, which I'll be, get to in a second. Uh, I played it on Xbox. It's it's like it's free to play Diablo 2. It's great. Uh, it's like Titan Quest, you know? Um, and the, the monetization is doesn't get in the way, uh, at least for the like campaign experience. I can't speak to the endgame because I didn't get there. So I'm just trying to be pretty clear uh, about what I do and don't know and what I can and can't vouch for. Mr. Dwarf Bangity Bang, thank you for the sub. And Captain Chris, thank you for the prime. Uh, but it's it's like, it's great. It's all cosmetic. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, it's like it's and it's like item slots, I think, or character slots. Excuse me. Um, yeah, that's that's a line that they have definitely tried to keep. Uh, Path of Exile is free to play. Now this is this is what they would like you to know. Path of Exile is free to play without any pay to win features. You can play the entire game for free. If you want more item storage space or to make your character look cool, you can spend money to do so. Siege of the Atlas is the latest expansion. Expansions come out every 13 weeks and contain a new challenge league, skills, items, game balance, and more. This expansion improves the end game by making it simpler and easier to access while also providing more depth and flexibility. Uh, find more about Path of Exile, Siege of the Atlas, and the Arch Nemesis League, which I'm about to roll a character in, at pathofexile.com slash siege. Or you can just use the POE command in chat. Um, so yeah, it seems like a, a pretty classy game, and I've had a lot of fun playing it so far. Uh, I was actually following a lot of the lore, and the music's really good. It's got a lot of cool environments. Um, oh, stash tabs are very cheap. I have a couple things. I threw a couple things in stash, but... All right. Uh, oops. Oh, this is an old character. Hold on. This is what the game looks like. We don't need that. We're not. We're not about that. We're gonna create a new character. I. I. I thought about being an idiot and going hardcore, but I'm just gonna do this. Okay. So I have to. I have to let. I have to let chat decide what I roll here. Like I said, my the only the only class I really played with was kind of like a necromancer class. So let's see here. Oh no, there's there's five there's five slots and only six things to you can only vote for for uh, five things. Ah, this is a problem. I've got to... That means I have to vote one out. Like, right away. Hmm. Well, you know what? I was a... I was a witch before, so... We'll just say witch is off the menu. Swift and silent. You Checking them all. Okay, there we go. Uh, enable Gato. Thank you for gifting us up. Thank you very much. Also, there's a hype train going. Thank y'all. What a day. Get to sit down with an excellent free-to-play action RPG. Hype train chugging away in chat. Bacon cake. Thank you for the sub. Not sure where Paladin came from. I don't know. Did I make that up? Templar. <laughs> okay, so Paladin is Templar. For some reason, that swap came in my head. 
we'll, we'll just make that... It's a... It's a ballot... A ballot confusion issue. You click the one box and the other one fills in. I'm not sure, yeah. I think I was reading something else. Is this Pac-Man or Path of Exile? Can it be both? I'm gonna go around and... Wait, what? Twitch idol was Pac-Man? What? Do you mean the thumbnail? Because there was a video for Pac-Man playing before the stream. Pack of Exile? Yes. What, um... What race is Pac-Man? I guess he's a Pac... But there's Ms. Pac-Man. Oh, the thumbnail, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I think there was a video or something. I'm kind of hoping people, like, set a bunch of channel points on fire to force a pick. Shadow's in the lead right now. That would be fun. I, I'm not quite sure what Shadow is, because, uh, like, since I played Witch, I was only looking at the, uh, like, intelligence side of the passive skill tree. So this will be a deep learning process. Oh, Stai Yeagle. Hey, thank you for the cheer. And the resub. So your resub at the top of the stream. It's good to see you again. Rogue Assassin. Flips. Critical hits. Traps. I saw a lot of gems about traps. It'd be fun to play around with those. It just feels strange to play a class that sort of revolves around passivity. Like you, It's like a two-step process. You have to put a trap down and then somebody has to step into it or trigger it. Whereas everyone else just gets to do the one thing. Like, I just hit you with a fireball. Maybe I'm overthinking it. It's just a betting war right now. That's fine. I'm just, I'm depressing the economy. Play strength. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, a, a marauder would be fun. Just a real, real Conan type. Okay, shadow it is. With quickness of body and sharpness of mind. Well done. How have you paid for these gifts? With innocent blood, yours is a predatory profession. The business of butchery. You've stolen many a life to fill your purse. Now you will earn your redemption in Rayclast. All right, just trying to give everyone the cinematic experience. Huh. I'm a very gothy boy. Oh, emo. You could be like Joe Keir. Hmm. Stab. It's like stab, except cooler. When was the last time you played? You kind of going in blind. Uh, oh, Chris Angel's really good. <laughs> uh, Tort. I played a significant amount of the game on Xbox, but the expansion's not out on Xbox yet. And I wanted to start over anyway, just to kind of experience a different kind of playstyle. So I played to Act Four. Didn't quite finish. Stuber is cooler. Hmm. All right. Bob? I like that. Cross angle. <laughs> that looks like Crossangle, which is also good. I'm gonna spend like 20 minutes looking at the passive skill tree. Hope that's okay. Nothing like a brisk dip to start the day. Now, where on God's ass am I? <coughs> ah, you and I, we're the only ones that made it to shore. Alive, anyway. Ah, looks like you found something you can defend yourself with. Good. This place is crawling with criminals. There's smoke rising just east of here. Could be worth checking if there's... Got him! Is it possible to murder someone who's already dead? There was something really satisfying about the voice acting in this game. It's so, like, grungy. Viper Strike. Yeah, I have no... Okay, so I have no idea what kind of class this can be or how it plays. 
There were a few. It sounds like there were a few people in chat that had a fair amount of experience with uh, Shadow. So if that's the case, what to what should I expect? What should I expect from a Shadow build, or what builds are there? Like how? What kind of manners can you play? You can really look up what the skill does. Poison, chaos damage. Okay. Assassin slash trapper. Mm -hmm. Classes are predisposed to some archetypes, but can be made largely into what style you want. See, I've had people warn me that uh, you have to be a little mindful of your builds in this game. You can sort of lock yourself out of a functional, functional build. Which, having some experience with how the skill tree works, kind of makes sense to me. Spell crit builds, poison, or traps. Hmm. Yeah, I need a plan for how to play the end game. Is is how it works out. I don't know what the end game is. I've done some like some of those like bonus encounters that have tons and tons of uh, like just ass loads of enemies that fly at you, which is really fun and very terrifying. And I've uh, what is it? In the last league, you had your like demon cube that you could use to sort of go into hell so that gave me some some taste i think of what how the fights can scale in this game atlas is the big end game goal oh, i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there in this stream just you watch just you watch it's gonna happen Yeah, Luf, this is a Diablo type, for sure. People people would probably say it's more Diablo than Diablo these days. Oh! And guess what? It's free to play. There's a lot of content here. A really long campaign. And all the pay to win, or all the, sorry, not, there is no pay to win. All the purchases are all aesthetic for storage space. Yeah, Jimmy Spades is correct. Game was uh, directly inspired by Diablo 2. You can see that in the like the aesthetic a lot. It does have the nice not being dead yet. definite grim darkness of Diablo 2, which is really cool. Like it's it's not it's not corny. It's just fun. Okay, good God, I hear zombies. I don't want to get chomped on. Let me get into town first. There's a no death run. Promising that right now. Oh, I can't do it yet. Oh, I have to spin this. Right. Yeah. Uh, Torten Kum. That's so. What I the way that I settled into my previous build is I basically scanned around the skill tree looking for the what are these guys? The like. First of all, you can kind of tell what every skill is is based on by the icon in the middle. So if you go to those icons, they kind of relate to a build. Yeah, the mastery points. And then from that, I would look at these guys, the sort of premium passive skills, and pick out the ones that were directly related to the build I was trying to make. If I'm starting from here, though, hmm. Loosely, I'm going to guess it's probably like defense and offense, like extra life. Dexterity. Increased damage. Damage and shield. Hmm. Okay, so it's like an assassin build, yeah, poison build or a traps build, as I was told. And if you think about it, man, the layout of the of the, the layout of the skill tree is really smart because just right away it makes kind of asks you to make some really basic decisions. Those decisions lead to like. A digestible amount of more increasingly important decisions, but you can mostly look at these and see where they go. Cool stuff. Can you throw traps and mines? I just, I feel like traps and mines is going to be so much, so much more to keep track of. You know? You have to manage your resources, you have to aim, and you have to make sure that people are falling into your mines and traps. Whereas if you're if you're an assassin and you have a lot of critical, then you could just stab people in the neck and they die. 
You do throw them. Okay. Okay. I guess traps and criticals are not that far removed from each other. Oh, there's critical over here, too. Yeah, and then there's poison. Poisons and dots. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, like, doing a... Perhaps AoE is very good. Fire and forget? Okay. Hmm. I feel like I want to go for a claw, like a critical claw build. It's accuracy and critical, just so you... But then it's like, I feel like once you do that, then it's very easy to hit a wall. If you hit, If you hit an enemy that you just can't hit... Or that just has so much HP, the criticals don't matter. Then what do you do? It's not like you have another option. You can't play a ranged game. Oh. You're rolling your own build? I'm just kind of puzzling through it. I mean, none of these decisions I think are gonna matter for a while. I'm just sort of I'm just sort of trying to get an idea in my head of what I want to start moving towards. Maybe I do want to do traps. Hmm. I feel like traps would be a little more nuanced. Because there's multiple kinds of traps and you can give them all kinds of support support gems. But I feel like that's pretty similar to what I did before in uh Pretty similar to what I did before in having a necromancer build. I feel like doing a critical critical claw build, assassin build, is uh going to be a little a little more unique. Krasongal, the trap master? Hmm. Crit claws with a spectral helix is strong. Hmm. What's a spectral helix? That sounds cool. Oh, look at these firsts popping in too. That's cool. There's like server firsts. Boingen. What an exciting time. All right, let me let me make a decision here. Evasion. Yeah, maybe I just do crit evasion. But I just never get hit. Oh, based princess, you won the new egg shuffle today. Ooh. Does that just mean you got you got a free thing? What is the new egg shuffle? Alright. I think I have an idea. I think I know what I'm going for. Is evasion a fool's game? Like, can you actually evade enemies? Evasion is great. All right. Oh, it allows you to buy things on Newegg like 3080s. Hey, cool. Congratulations. You get to pay double for a 3080. Hooray. So it's like, is it from an individual retailer? You did to Hillock out there, Shadow. Your murderous art is the reason you're here. In exile. And it'll be the one thing that sees you through to another dawn. I'm Nessa. And I suppose I should thank you for ridding us of that putrid giant. Back in Aureus, I feared your kind. Condemned you from afar. In Rayclast, I don't have that luxury. Lion Eye's watch isn't much, but it's ours. We could use you here. Oh! While you live. Oh my gosh. But should you wish to venture out, do just one thing for me. Out on the coast, amongst the wrecks, there must be a ship's medicine chest. I have many to care for. And there's only so much I can do with herbs and seawater. Forgot. Also, one second. Here was out of folks again. Um... This is if there's if there's ever been a candle cam game ever it is this I can't believe it what am I thinking I need to move the I need to move it up a little bit but just listen to this soundtrack and tell me that oops sorry tell me this isn't a game that deserves a flickering candle I need to trim the wick now nah, we got it
candles, now you're mana. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Not, you're not going to set my monitor on fire, are you? There. There we go. There are a lot of candles in this game, now that you mention it. I knew it. I knew it. Here, let's scoot this up. Okay. Take care. A sodden shadow staggered from the surf and surveyed the somber strand. That's the first line of the poem I'm writing about you, Exile. Easy, man. You could poison a bloke with a look like that. The name's Bestel, captain of the good ship Merry Gull. Unless my Merry Gull is gone. My crew is uh, gone. But my wits remain after a version. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dilemma. I'm using a webcam on, a, on an arm. That's where my Merry Gull ran aground. Watched the local spit roast the ship's doctor. But his medicine chest might still be there. Amongst the splinters and bones, it'd have everything Nessa might need. Dr. Shaky Hands Opton was lousy with a scalpel and even worse with a saw, but he knew his apothecary. Explains the Shaky Hands, if you ask me. Yeah, there's a lot of VO in this game. Uh, and it's, it's nice because it's all really well delivered and fills out the story. Poor Nessa. Not even a mother herself, and yet she cares for us all. And what a sickly, pathetic brood we are. May she live to have her own family. A real family. If anyone deserves that, Nessa does. Harold, the Merry Gulls cook, washed up on the rocks over yonder. Dead as a door now he was. Buried in myself. Then, a few days later, I see him on the beach. A little worse for wear, but upright, shuffling about. Land full of disturbing surprises, this ray class. Wait, is this an MMO? Pretty much, yeah. You can you can trade items with other players. Oh, that reminds me, also. There's a mystery. A mystery, a twistery mystery. They sent me a code for 36 mystery boxes. Fine work with Hillock. Where'd you learn to fight like that? No, I forget I asked. We exiles have no history. Dominus took it from us when he had his blackguards dump us in the water out there. Here, got something for you. Should help you kill a few more of those undead bastards. Uh, don't bother thanking me. Oh, click too much, sorry. Ooh, ethereal knives. Oh yeah, I remember reading this. Like... Fires an arc of knives. But the knives can be used for other stuff, right? That's pretty cool. Throwing around like psychic knives. What is, um... What's unique about... What's unique about chaos damage? Is there something special about that? Can I get the code? I've already redeemed it. But I'll... It's supposed to give me a lot of mystery boxes. I don't know what those are. Oh, chaos is a dot. Oh, okay. All right. That's kind of like for the poison dot build. I'm going go with knives. Uh, they said it's in my microtransaction stash. Which hopefully is just a tab of this. It's not. Is that in this town? Maybe it's maybe it's in like chap act two or something like that. Micro tab is M. Oh, I was hitting it. It's a menu, not a world item. Oh, sorry. It's 
stash is at the bottom on the main screen. Stash is at the bottom on the main screen. Stash is at the bottom on the main screen. What's the main screen? I'm clicking that just because it was glowing. Oh, there it is. It's in. Turns out it's in. This is... Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Can I... Can I give these to people? That would be cool, to send it to people in-game. I don't know if I can, though. I think I just click on it and then it gives me a thing. <laughs> Are there raids of the equivalent in this game? Oh, you can't give them away. Okay. Alright. So, I can just... You get to you get the thrill of watching me get stuff. Excellent. Hey, that's fine. It's unboxings. People love those. The furnace down at the slaughterhouse. Yes, that's what this place smells like. I don't think I need to be... Welcome. Founded by my... Yeah, pack opening channel. A supply station. We're leaning into the meta now. In its day... Lion Eyes Watch could be defended by just a small garrison of well-armed legionnaires. What have I got? A handful of starving criminals with driftwood clubs and rusted hatchets. The Eternal Empire has some right nasty leftovers. Whether it's something in the air or in the water, no one stays dead in Rayclast. Not the first time. It can take a little while, but sooner or later corpses wake up and go looking for breakfast. Oh, everything in the mystery boxes goes into the shop after a while so you can buy it straight. Oh, okay. That hat Bestel wears? Saw him pluck it from the real captain's head. Right yeah, I wasn't too familiar with how the mystery boxes works, which I guess is the point of a mystery box. What not, I suppose. Yes, Bestel's got a gift for telling tales, but I'd never call him a liar. The truth's always in there. You just have to listen for it. I'm excited to throw some of these the one psychic knives. From I'm gonna be like Psylocke. To be honest, when she first arrived, I didn't think she'd survive more than a day, two at most. She's been proving me wrong every dawn since. Heard a bard once sing that the fairest flowers bloom in the foulest places. He was bloody well right. I... I'm just thinking, I'm pretty sure I did watch X-Men Apocalypse at some point, but I don't remember any of it. I don't think I remember a single thing. Maybe I only watch trailers. I've seen many an exile pass through Lion Eyes Watch, and many more that simply pass on. Those letters are my way of keeping track, of remembering. Oriath might want to forget us all, but I'll be damned if I will. I have some. My first scraps. I'm gonna have to relearn the, uh. Relearn all the, uh binds and stuff. I don't know what the um, keyboard shortcuts for anything are. I'll figure it out though. Not right now. Tarkley rescued from the waves. A stricken bestial fate slave. From fallen crew and broken bark. Bestial lives thanks to Tar. This is straight Diablo 2 and I'm here for it. Yeah, the environments you go through and the order you go through them are probably kind of evocative of Diablo 2 as well. There's, I mean, there's only so many, you know, biomes to choose from uh, if you're on some kind of Earth-like planet, but you have, like, a sewers, you've got, like, a kind of a deserty area, you have, like, a deep jungle area. Pretty great. Pretty great. It's just cozy gaming. It's honestly the best ARPG I've ever played, and it's free to play. There are gaming wonders out there in the universe, and you can learn more by using the PoE command in chat right now. Alright, give me something to throw my cyber knives at. Ooh! Okay. Okay, I can kind of see a knife sitting... Is that what that green thing is? Yeah! So I think there's an ability that, like, makes all the knives on the ground spin around you or something. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, okay, that's my, my gem. I didn't want to show the uh, XP bar. Nice. 
I think the second I fell in love with this game was when I learned that the, like, your flasks refill by killing. I was like, oh, that's great. So you just have to, like, you have to do a character build that can sort of be sustainable. Crab murder? These are gravel eaters. I don't know what you're talking about, crab. Okay, these these are some pretty bad crabs. That's interesting. Gems automatically level up on console. You don't have to hit anything. Gotta watch out for those crabs. Auto level on console is interesting. I, for me, I never hit a, uh, I never hit a problem where, like, I didn't want something to level. Not yet. There are a few cases where you might not want a gem to level, but don't worry about this. Yeah, all my gems, like, I never run out of mana or anything. It just seems like it's more mana for more power, but, like, I never ran out of mana, so it wasn't ever an issue. But I can see how in certain builds it might do more of one. Oh, shit. Ooh. I think he teleported or something. Cross angle has been, uh, has been humbled already. You know I don't think you lose anything dying in this game. Some of the side modes, like you have to, you have to do it all without dying. But I don't have any armor. I should have bought some when I was in town. Actually, I don't think I can afford any. Say hi to Hillock. Well, I, I bopped him already, but that's as far as I've gotten. That's all I've done. <laughs> ah! Why is that on? A second, sorry about that. I was like, I actually think it was a spam call. They're going to tell me, they were actually probably calling about my car insurance. Sorry about that. Thought that was me? Yeah, I apologize. What's, what's crazy? There's actually no way to turn that off. You can't turn off the ringer if you have the messages app running. Uh, the only punishment for death is lost XP later, only later on in the game. Okay. I like that keeps you honest. <laughs> Just trying to keep everybody awake. I'm writing, making a second coffee. Just finished eating a pile of rice. Gonna light a candle. Yes! All the creature comforts. Alright. Ooh! Ooh! Jeez. Dash going on there. Low on mana. A lot of ghosts popped out of that. Oh, was that some kind of app uh, to do phone calls through the computer? Basically, um, it's actually it's more of an app to uh, to do text messages through the computer, but it also takes calls. Yeah, you can also use your PC speakers and a microphone to do calls. The Google app thing. Jesus. Yeah, I apologize about that. Usually I turn that off. I'm impressed by how much this place wants me dead. 
Oh, got a little Ryan Reynolds snark to me, huh? A little stick snark. What the hell's that? Oh, Mega Fart Dad. You love Path of Exile? Excellent. Hey, what? I could use I could use advice. I could use people's expertise. I'm trying a new character build here. Alright, what is this? Apply this to a petrified monster at an arch nemesis statue. Okay. So that's something about the new new league. New league mechanic. All right. Awesome. Calm's canoe struck this sand with the force of destiny. At his back, the greatest war host in Cardui history tamed the wild sea, their canoes coupling with the land one by one. Lion eyes gemlings met us with shining metal and bold words. Hyrie's arrows withered their pride. Calm's axes silenced their despair. Arceus Lion Eye fought bravely to the last. Calm honored him with a place on his belt. Calm has shown Rayclast our Kardui strength. Calm will teach Rayclast. Yeah. yeah, the story of Calm is an interesting one to follow. It doesn't go very well. I'll say that. Ray class is not a happy place. I'll say that. We tried Fantasy Star Online too. It's like Monster Hunter Cross Dynasty Warriors. I played a little bit of Fantasy Star, teeny tiny bit. Not a whole lot though. I have a skill point to spend. Dagger mastery right there. I go daggers or claws? Yeah, this guy had energy shield. It does. Let's go with that. Hey! Hey! You watch out. <laughs> Most stories of Path of Exile don't go well. <laughs> yeah, it's not a happy place. This is not a good retirement. Retirement game to be in. I do really like that you, you do eventually get so strong that you're beating up Eldritch Terrors and stuff. Actually taking horrific monsters out of the environment, that's kind of fun. Oh, Trash Daddy, what's my favorite video game? My favorite video? I'm, I'm... At this point, I think it's like, I'm from a generation. Like, Earthbound is my shit. I think that might just be mostly because of... I think at this point, it's mostly because of when I played it. But... It was a great game. With crazy, uh... Crazy writing and, like, awesome music. And it was the first game I played like that. So I think just because of that, it's kind of, it's got that spot in my mind. If I try to be objective about it, like of all time in my entire life. There's a few games that kind of, kind of pop out. Man, it's tough though. There's like, there's Tetris, Tetris the Grandmaster. Beat Mania 2DX, F-Zero GX, StarCraft 2, Final Fantasy XIV. This is like the short list of Hall of Famers for me, I guess. Deus Ex. Do you believe the hidden imagery in Earthbound, like Unborn Children, etc.? Oh, yeah, well, when it comes to... 
how the final boss looks. I think it's certainly got that Geiger-esque flair where it's impossible not to see some really disturbing uh, biological imagery in it. I think people go a little ham on trying to literalize a story that is, in my opinion, pretty unspoken and subjective. But as part of that, I think it means that all, all interpretations are valid. So it doesn't upset me or anything. Okay. I guess I'll keep going, uh, going on this path here. No, no, no! That's not what I want. Cancel. This is interesting, because there's, like, if I want to stack critical, there's these two, but they're actually in separate skill trees, so I have to go, like, go across up here. I can do that. Attack speed would be nice. I feel like attack speed has to pair well with critical, because the more attacks you get, the more likely, like, the more, more times you roll the probability. Their crit focus nodes around the tree as well. Yeah, it just spreads out. Gotta find the most efficient path to connect them all. Next speed taunts lead to quicker mana drain. That's a good point. I guess I was just thinking that critical would apply to my, like, physical auto attack, but... Maybe I'm... Not thinking globally. There's so many cool kiss curse nodes to like use blood instead of mana. Ooh. Can you do critical with a bow? Getting ranged critical hits sounds cool. touch the auto attack that's a good point there's no there's no reason to auto attack if you have any other skill that does more damage Jatsy, thanks for gifting five subs. Crossbolt Templar is a pretty good standard build for first time Templar playthroughs. Oh, hello. This is not a Templar though. I'm a shadow. Oh, oh, okay. I can only do one. Okay, so you can kind of craft the, uh... You can craft the bossy fight. Ooh! Mm. 
No oh, online. No. Doing very little damage. Hey, what's up, Faye? Jeez. dick twist the dick got twisted don't worry oh man <laughs> there's another one didn't get anything i could use off that last one hey but lots of Blecko, what's up i studied up on path of exile a little bit yes you do do you do another one oh that's right there's multiple glyphs the Nailed Fist, a claw weapon? Oh, I should sell that. Hmm. I don't have enough... Gr oh, no, I do. Okay. You've never seen this before, Faye? I, I only started playing it recently, but it is it is super fun. Very, very well made. And free! I don't know what these charges do. I don't... Do they have to spend them? controller support already? It You can play with a controller on Xbox. There's no controller support on PC? <laughs> Woo! Didn't need to do all that fancy dancing. sell it wouldn't mind being a stabby boy I don't know if that means claws or does that mean claws or daggers I guess I'll, I'll just figure it out as I go both all right the, uh, the passive skills seem to divide it into dagger and claw I need more pockets. Stabby is stabby. Well said. I have a town portal scroll. I do! Jesus. 
Claw and Dagger divided for some skills, yes, if it says specifically. Okay, I didn't know if one was more stabby than the other. I guess does one pair better with, like, trying to do crit? Crit evade? I don't even know if that's a thing. I'm making that up in my head. Yes? Tarkley's as good a man as you can find on this godforsaken coast. He has some wrongs to right, no doubt. What they are, I've never asked, and I never will. If not for Tarkley, we'd all be dead. Don't tell Tarkley, but they're the foulest foul I've ever tasted. Oops. Don't tell Tarkley, but they're the foulest foul I've ever tasted. Still, exiles can't be choosers. Ah, uh, didn't lose that much lore, really. I ran aground on the tidal island trying to escape from pirates. As tends to happen here in Rayclast, her crew met a far worse fate. Cannibals. Tarkley pulled Bestel from some hideaway in the wreckage. The ship's only survivor. Whether the ordeal fractured his mind or whether it was just in his nature all along, it's clear that Bestel sails a different course to the rest of us. Uh, what's the main enjoyment of this game? Is it clicking and dealing damage, story, strategy, progress, all the above? I think it, I think it can provide that experience, all of those experiences to people. I've spent enough time smuggling from coast to coast to know that those shells don't come from these waters. They're Karui, and look about right to fit into that rock wall in the mudflats. I say complete the set, fit them into the sockets, and stand well back. Just killing everything as quickly as possible? Yeah. It's a... Kind of in the way that Diablo 3 did, I feel like it's a game that encourages min-maxing. Like, it is about murdering as fast and efficiently as possible. And then just over the course of sort of refining this engine, you'll find tweaks. You'll know what gear you're looking for. It, it has, like, a gear generation system that allow you to sort of roll on stats that you want. So as you play, you... Or as the time goes by, you gradually figure out how to kind of make your build more efficient at murder. Um, I suspect that it becomes a different sort of game at the end game when it's less about how quickly can I murder and more can I even murder at all. And there's a giant boss that you have to sort of tune a build around or or prep uh, prep a strategy for. Rowers, overgrown chickens with a murderous streak. If you're not careful, they'll talon your guts out and snap them up like big fat worms. Kind of destiny like. That said, uh, same spirit I think. Through their nests if you get the chance. Rowers are like magpies, attracted to what shines. In a game like that, there's a lot of content where you know you you get the story, you play the you play the created challenges, and then you sort of get into the end game where then it's like way harder skill checks that uh, require you to learn the game better and customize your character in the way you play to meet certain challenges. Um, it's it's a very rewarding sort of experience. Ains J, thank you for the 13 months of subs. You continue to entertain me and countless others every month. Here's a reminder that you are awesome. Thank you very much, Ains J. That was an outstandingly positive message. Put a little bounce in my step. I am truly blessed to play an awesome game with awesome people. Clearing a hyper-juiced T16 map is insanely hard and satisfying, not to mention bossing. Still have to clear some endgame ones. Yeah, they added a few more. They added a few more, which I really want to see. I'm excited to see this game go off the rails, even more than it has. I, I appreciate its its dedication to Grimdark, and I think it does a great job uh, working in it, working with it. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I would like to identify some of this stuff, but... It's... I guess none of this stuff's really going to matter. Is there a... Is there a... You control? Oh, you can control click. I guess I do have several scrolls of wisdom, but whatever. I don't think I'm going to use any of that stuff. This, maybe. Is there, like, a shortcut to identify? You have to... You have to... Do that. Chucks. Those are my last green slots. Hmm. 
Oh man, I could really use this on my Xbox character actually. All those minion boosts? That's nice. Oh yeah, one more one more uh, mystery box. I'll open one mystery box every time I go back to town. What'd I get? Oh! I got a Divergence Curio. That's satisfying. Alright, into the breach. I where my portal is. There it is. I'm gonna keep that just in case I find gear that has the right combination of stuff. I can swap it out. The, what's the button? Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna explore here. Challenges. I'm trying to find the world map. There it is. It is you. Okay. I could do mercy mission. I'll. I don't know if I want to do side quests. Should I just run through it? Is this your first experience of P Path of Exile? Not necessarily. Although I wouldn't call myself an expert in any stretch. I, uh, oh, yeah, here I can backtrack and get that side quest. Um, <laughs> I played it quite a bit on an Xbox, dedicated a few evenings to it. I got to Act 4, and I had a build that was really fun, felt, felt cool to make. But I, I haven't played Endgame yet, so I'm not a professional, and I didn't hit the wall where, like, my build meant that I wasn't allowed to have fun anymore. I don't know, some people have kind of warned me about that, that if you if you don't follow a build, there's certain things you just won't be able to do at some point. Perhaps they're being dramatic, but... I didn't hit that point, but I also didn't finish the campaign yet. Some qu side quests are useful, some not. Yeah, some... What's crazy is, like... Maybe they were, maybe they were all story quests, but the ones where you have to, like, make story decisions that have permanent... Stat changes to your character. Those are pretty wild. Some of them are really tempting too. I thought that was a, I thought that was a really fun way to do it, to make story decisions matter by linking them to like permanent uh, perk upgrades. Calm has removed the eternal stain from this coast. The Empire's citizens decorate our meeting houses with their heads. Our warriors built homes for our families. Our families till the earth, fish the waters, fill the air with song. The Kardwi way is yet a seedling here, but it grows, gains in pride and power every day. Calm has kept his promise. The time of the Kardwi has come. Sounds like everything's great. Calm is rad. The Kauri are doing well. What could go wrong? Oh, that's right. The VO will play in the background. You're absolutely right. I don't need to just sit there. At least for those, for the environmental ones. If you're talking to a person, you, I, don't, you, I don't think you could just walk away. Oh my god, the crabs have learned how to fight back! God, some of those, some of those uh, sound effects are just straight up, straight up. Bell block. Shadow Laser of Doom, just endless knives. I'm I'm using it because it's like the only skill gem I've gotten so far. But pretty much, as long as I have MP, I can throw these psychic knives. Pretty sick, huh?
Sure. Go for it. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, once more, this game is sponsored by Grinding Gear Games. Uh, if this gameplay looks looks good to you, and it should because it rules, you can play Path of Exile for free right now on Xbox and uh, PC. The expansion is currently out. The new uh, the new new league is currently started on PC. I think it's like five more days for console. Use the POE command to learn more in chat. I would appreciate you clicking on that link. I know Grinding Gear would as well. There we go. Okay, I can just head back now. Or... Take the shortcut. I'd almost stop believing in miracles. This medicine chest. Oh, Volkitten, thank you for the resub and the cheer. It holds. It tells Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Rick Friday to you too. Suffer. I've not much to offer in return, but please take something and thanks for what you've done. Actually, I really like basically having a sprint. Ah, oh, let's see, what we got. Projectiles fired from other locations. Wow. I'm glad I closed that. My phone just exploded with uh, spam calls. Crazy. I guess somebody figured out how to get around a call filter. It's always interesting when that stuff happens. Alright, just trying to make sure that, like, it wasn't my mom or something. Nothing causes anxiety like seeing 20 missed calls or something <laughs> like that. Well, let's see here. See, right now I feel like I'm, I'm kind of falling towards a uh, projectile build. Based on what's been uh, presented. But I don't even have two linked slots. I mean, I have two blue, but... I'll just take this. Right. Still need more green. I have, I, there's no way I have a uh, something to reroll slots right now. Like, I actually don't have enough green sockets for my abilities. Jeez, I really want to wear those boots. Eight hours of phone next to me, nothing. Two hours away, three where are you texts? Yeah. I'm convinced you were dead. Please respond. The end's draggery. Nicely done. Nessa will put it to good use. More than that, be numbed quack opt-in ever did. Does this game have fishing? Ooh. 
You know, Demi, I'm not sure. Now that you've drained that passage, best I warn you about something. I was running down a wounded row one night's eve when I glimpsed something in that waterlogged cavern. It looked a bit like a sand spitter, only the size of a bloody ox. I reckon it's nesting down in those flooded depths somewhere. If you're going that way, then do us a favor. Spill the old shield crab's guts before it gets hungry and comes looking for us. Oh my gosh, Jimmy Spade says, don't go down the fishing rabbit hole, trust me. Oh, has there been like an extensive discussion about whether or not the game should have random drops or like a farming point or something like that? Repost. Hmm. Attack damage when you block. Cannot use this directly. It's a long story. Basically, the main dev is a troll, or is he? I'm intrigued. Got a job for you, if you're willing. There's a pool near the mud flats needs investigating. You'll smell it before you see it. it stinks like a carcass in high summer. But that's not the worst of it. Dead birds walking. Animals don't rise up again the same as people do here. So if they aren't raising themselves, what's doing it for them? The answer's in that fetid pool. Clear the place out and kill whatever's raising those rowers. We've got enough living dead to contend with already. Though they might look like you or I, behind those eyes there's nothing but darkness and hunger. Whatever's got inside those folks is not even close to being human. Nothing could be as bad as WoW's fish. Fish up five red snapper and there are no red snapper? Wait, was there like a troll a troll fishing quest in WoW? That medicine chest you found, it'll do more than you might think. The medicine will run out. Oh, Ains J, you got a long weekend of Left 4 Dead 2 in front of you? Give that girl a sliver of hope and she'll carry it to the end of the world. You can bottle that feeling. Of like it being a Friday and you're about to game, about to play some games with friends. Yeah, well. Ah, there can be no wrong. Hello. What a lovely day. We're... Okay, let's get back to it. So let's find that fetid pool. Kill all the monsters in that fetid pool. I was bugged for years. Oh, okay. That was an unfinishable quest? Yeah, I could see why that would drive people insane. Cross Angle is now level six. Good job, Cross Angle. I can't believe it's been this many years of my life and I've only been to one Chris Angel show. That's just disappointing. I would have thought I would have achieved more by now. Been to more Chris Angel shows. James Angel shows though. I think I think one. I got to be in that one though. I'm really hoping the uh, weekend beginner wrestling class comes back. Everybody's had COVID, so no one's been around to teach. Each wrestling. Are you a fetid pool? You are. I had to replay all the way through my GTA 3 100% run because of a glitched mission. Ugh, glitched quests are the worst. It's it's like the exact opposite of what we go to video games for. In video games, things are neat and orderly. 
and there's a very civilized list of concrete tasks to accomplish before we're told we've done something. Glitched quest, just turn that all on, there, on its head. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh dear. Ooh, damn. I, oh, I just couldn't move. I didn't think Frost Trail was gonna be that bad. It's absolutely the worst. The worst thing. Oh! Oh, don't kill me already! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fuck! Oh, God! I can't move! Okay, I got on the other side at least. This is gonna take a while. Ugh! Faster than me. Fuck. <laughs> Is that a cold dot Roa? That's horrible. Yeah, I now to to in the game's defense. I did put a cold dot gem onto it, so I asked for this. I did not know it was going to be this bad. No. Oh my god, those dudes are... Those dudes are rough too. Okay, good. It refills my potions at least when I come back. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to like... Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to scum this dude. the worst <laughs> he interrupts and then i was taking like dot damage the whole time goat horn see this cap might be useful what's going on here Thank you, Jimmy. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for the tips. Uh, yeah, this game rules. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I'm curious where this build's gonna go, but I don't have to know that now. Now I just have to kill these deadly dripping deads. Music is so good. If I do it again, though, it's just going to be the cold guy, but even worse, right? Oh my gosh, there's three more slots. Is it always going to summon a Roa? Do you choose an arch nemesis modifier you've collected and empower this petrified monster with its properties? If you can defeat this foe, you'll see the rewards bestowed by the modifier. Subsequent petrified monsters in this area will inherit all modifiers. Okay, so it's it's the monster that's chained up is what pops out. Even still, man, that... Okay, so that is a... What are you? What are you, guy? It's something with feet. That's already not as bad. A little more civilized. A little bit. 
still gonna be bad. Boop. Ooh. Okay. It's you and me now, Terror Shuffle. Yeah, I can go in, get a few stacks of poison on. Get out before I get killed. better for the energy shield, I think, if I let it recover like that. Hey, what's up, Alex? just want to say thanks, and for the laughs and good feels over the years. Well, I have been delighted to provide them, so... Thank you for enjoying, I guess. It's very kind of you, though. I appreciate that. Try this. Do that. Going through a rough time, you do a huge amount for many of us. Well, thank you very much, and I'm sorry to hear you're going through a rough time. I'm gonna try to switch to this. It's I've seen some like little jutters here and there. Um, ooh, hey, I'm again. I'm just. Well, that's really cool that you can switch renders on the fly. That's outrageous. I'm just really, really happy that what I do provides any comfort to you, because uh, I enjoy doing it, so. We got us a good little arrangement here. But yeah, I hope uh, all, all rough times eventually conclude. So I hope this, uh, this period in your life goes without putting too much of a fight. switch my boots but I need I need more green slots so don't have a uh, eh. I think the servers are a bit overloaded yeah that might be it ooh happening a lot more now maybe switching renderers mid mid game wasn't the wisest call but I'm going back to it so who doesn't like Vulcan it just sounds cool I'm hoping this doesn't this results in screen to me. I don't see any, but if you guys notice any screen tearing, feel free to let me know. Sometimes it's safe, sometimes it's not. This is going to be even worse. I've got chaos damage now. No screen tearing? Great, thank you. I've, uh... I understand, though. I've certainly had some rough times in my life where... Certain people just, just provide a nice, a nice amount of comfort, so... Yeah, I'm very, very glad that I can... I can provide that for you. You need it. Whew. Chaos bypasses shield. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Thank you. Can't move. Oh. Now I'm out of healing. I guess I can try to get one hit. But it might get interrupted. 
I need more pockets. Okay. All right. Is that the sound of a critical happening? I think I'm going to be able to... I don't know about this. Oh my god! <sighs> Low on mana. Yeah. Yeah. Figured that was gonna happen. I'm all dry. I guess I can try to get in one hit. Can I wait for mana to reach in. One little slash, one little slap. We're gonna get him! Oh, if you're curious about the candle, it's just there for ambiance. Enjoy. This is a candly game, though. This entire game looks like it's, uh, lit by candles, right? It's gothic. Doing the trick? I'm glad to hear it. It's getting low. Yeah, it's going down a little bit. The man, uh, the candle's actually giving me a mana regen bonus, which is why it's next to my mana orb over there. You guys didn't know candles had mana buffs, did you? These are just the top tips I give out all the time on this stream. Almost got him. Is that blue crescent shield for that class, or do all builds have it? That is energy shield, and it comes from some of the gear I have equipped. Um... Yeah, all classes can equip gear with energy shields on it. There's a there's a variety of different ways to mitigate damage in this game. And having an energy shield is one of them. Ugh! Let me just slap the side of my head. No! Oh! Oh, that would have been tragic. Okay. Superior frost blades. Oh. Rusted coif. It has two green slots on it. And a, and a plus to, uh, ooh, and a plus to critical strike. That looks really nice. I need more decks, though. Real question is, what sin is the candle? It is a vineyard. So it kind of smells like a scratch and sniff sticker. It's delightful. Uh, I'm going to get up real quick, drink some water, take a little potty break. I'll be right back. I encourage you guys to stay hydrated and stretch. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Back. Sorry, right, there's a surprise guest. Oh, wait. Wrong, uh... Wrong scene. Move it over here. Can't let uh, stream viewers not enjoy the calming sensation of a candle. Beat up a very hard enemy. Oh yeah, he dropped some goodies though. What's going on with that? Oh, still need, still need a little more decks to start putting on some of this stuff. No 
What's up, Death Moon? How's everything been? It's been great. How's everything with you? Using a loot filter. No. What does that do? Does it only show you loot that's like pertinent to your build? Things that you specify? Alright, maybe that gave me the decks that I need. I mean, it did, but I can't. There we go. Still need... Okay, here we go. A little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Then... There we go. You can filter out the crap loot later on when you get hundreds of drops on screen. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've hit a few points where the, the screen does kind of explode into drops, so that makes sense. I don't think I need it yet. Oh, Shkuba. Uh, let's see here. Never played before, but I'm digging it. I'll give pretty much any sort of Diablo 2 clone a chance. A couple of buddies tried to get me into it a while back. The skill tree was a little overwhelming. That in D2 remake was coming out. What the nostalgia is that for me? I'd say, like, I understand the skill tree being intimidating, but a lot of the bigger choices, the consequential choices, do happen later. Even though, yeah... Your eyes can go a little unfocused looking at that thing for the first first time. Oh, jeez! I, uh, I played most of the way through the campaign on Xbox, and I had a really good time doing it, so... I'm starting a character on PC. This is my pro character. Elite pro character. Going for like an evasion critical strike build. I'm not quite sure what that means in the long run though, but I'll figure it out. I'm just gonna make that my main attack. Murdered that necromancer? It's kind of ironic, isn't it? If you're such a good necromancer, why are you dead? Yeah, this, uh, this game's pretty rad. Free to play. Free to play. I'd like to check it out? Just use the POE command, because this Made is a any. sponsored stream. Hello. Appreciate any love you can show the sponsor. Especially if you, uh, you know, like you said, if you like Diablo 2 games. That's exactly what this is. Wait, hold on. Do I wanna... Yeah, life regen and the shield is nice. the best action RPG? Many people have said that. Uh, given that, you know, hashtag ad. I feel like if I say that, it doesn't carry... <laughs> it, can, it can read a little chilly, but I've had a great time with it. Bastard got a bit lonely, decided to make himself some pain. I, uh, I, I guess I'm not qualified to claim that because I haven't seen the end game yet, but people that have, vouch for it. Here, to mark a dirty job well done. Hell yeah. I've traveled inland on the Emperor's Road via Prisoner's Gate. Had to skirt around Axiom Prison. That's the holdfast of Brutus the Warden. Bloody treacherous trip it was. Worth it? There's forest inland. Game, berries, fruit. More food than we can scrounge here. But most here wouldn't survive the journey. Would be a damn sight easier if we could pass through the prison. 
You carve us a path up the coast, find us a way past or through Brutus, and you'll have more than a few lives owing to you. Oh my god, it was... Uh, it was a car warranty. Your automobile service contract seems like the time to renew or extend. Your service contract has expired and will be expiring... They got me. Yeah. Uh, it really was. Damn it. Uh, Bunster, yeah. I. That's the sensation I got too. That the, uh, the campaign you play is essentially a protracted tutorial to teach you your character. Or get you comfortable with whatever build you're going for. I'm done with that. I don't mind that. Oh yeah, I gotta use this too. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. In 2022. Still getting me. Diablo 2 is one of my f or is, is one of my first real gaming experiences. I remember being six hopping through lobbies. This is free on PS4, so I'm downloading it now. Yeah, go for it. Please do. It's a fun game. I think you'll really like it. Especially if yeah, if you have fond memories of uh hopping through lobbies and such. I recommend turning on health bars. That's a good call. Yeah, let me do that. I think they're on by default on console. At least I seem to remember them being. Another game or UI option? Oh. There we go. Back to the business at hand. What is that? Is that a rock crab? I have to power up this crab? I'm gonna I'm gonna regret this. I'm giving it spell block, but I wanna get rid of that gem. some fairly thick crabs. The old double crab. Get him with the hyper crab. This is a fun system, though, of, like, letting you choose the modifiers that go on the enemy and in what order. 
Is this also a crab? No? Oh, it's one of the wiggly wiggly guys. They don't they didn't seem to have that many HP. Life area of effect and damage. Jeez. These are all really <laughs> these are all really bad gems to put on things. Get them all line up here. Jeez. Critical hits are starting to kick in though. I can see it. Also, yeah, the life bars was a good call. Really makes it easy to tell what's doing the damage and how much. Superior your coif. I can't believe it. For the first time ever, Cross Angle is low on mana. Okay, fine. I'll just do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this. This is gonna be a bad fight. Oh, it's so big though. Rage scrape. Oh god, it's got so much health. bad if I can't just sit through. A uh, Galvo, yeah, I've been trying to find a time to play more God of War. It's been it's been a challenge actually. Because there's been so many like big releases coming out. Oh dear. Definitely gonna get back to it. How are you getting your shield back? Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. <sighs> yeah, I'll get back to it at some point. Just can't leave it for too long, because then I'm going to forget how to play. All my beautiful skills are going to disappear. Yeah, this one might be, uh, just heal through it. Woo! Alright. This Path of Exile, the one that requires a doctorate to set up talents. It's, it's not that bad. But it can be a little intimidating. It can be intimidating. I'm just freehanding it. I'm having a good time. All right, I can put on more. I can put on more gems. Mess around with. F Wait, hold on. Frost. Oh, there we go.
Okay. Dash. Just need a moment to catch my breath. So does. Oh! Oh! Riposte happens automatically! I think I had to hit a button. Alright. Okay, alright. Ah! I see! That enemy is decreased range, releasing icy blades. You have to actually hit. But you can do it at a distance. Huh! Huh! my main, I will make a like Viper Strike. And I don't really have a middle. I guess I'm out of green green slots again. Yep. I'll use my other knives when I get the chance. Rad, this is so much faster. What class is this? My experience with PoE so far is starting an archer, getting scared of the skill tree. <laughs> that was me for the longest time, to be honest. But uh, right now I'm doing shadow. Uh, and I guess I'm going with evasion critical. Right now I have a an attack that throws a bunch of poisony frost knives. So that's exciting. Flood of deaths. It's in the zone. But it is uh it is the ultimate incarnation of Diablo 2, essentially. And it's free. And yeah, this the skill tree can be a little intimidating. Here, let me pull it up here. I remember the button. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Oh, I forgot to open a mystery box last time I went to town. Okay, it is P for points. So yeah, if you zoom all the way out, yeah, it looks a little mean. Also, there are a couple of other ones, but once you kind of know what to look for, um, it's really not that difficult because the way it's org it's actually organized really smartly, essentially. There's all these nodes of skills that are all related to each other. And once you know what sort of build you're going for, then you're like, then you learn to look at the icons. Like, okay, this is a dagger. So if you're doing a dagger build, I don't even know if that's a thing, but like, let's say you want to stack dagger damage, then you're like, okay, I want to go here and I want to go here. Then you can kind of look at all the other skills and be like, okay, between these two, I want to go to this one first and then to this one. And then you're like, okay, how do I get there? What are the paths to get there? And what are the one, like what paths also put me near other things I want? And that's sort of how it, how it goes back. So it's, it's really not that bad. Um, even though it looks like that, even though it looks like it, <laughs> it is, but it actually gives you real choice, gives you real freedom and character build. Uh, I think it's unavoidable that some builds are just going to be more effective than others, so if you, if you freehand it, you know, there's always that fear that you're going to make some terrible decision, but uh, at the very worst, um, you just play the game again with a new character, which is what that experience was all about anyway, right? Playing another build, trying a different set of, uh, set of classes. Leveling forever. Oh, you guys are headed out. All right. See ya. Love you. Oh, I froze. I froze. I completely froze. Yeah. Get analysis paralysis. That's a really good way to describe it. That can happen. It's like, it's, it's fish or cut bait. What do you do first? But you're not out anything, you know? You just roll a new character, play, and keep having fun. Uh, somebody asked how free is free. Uh, super free. There is, there's no content you have to pay for. All of the, all of the for purchase stuff is aesthetic. Or it's additional storage space. And that's it. Changes how you look, but all the gear is traded for or earned in, in the game. I intentionally make suboptimal builds so I have to get good. That makes sense too.
But yeah, free to play, sponsoring the stream. Click that link in the, the chat if you want to if you want to check out the game and support the stream. I appreciate that very much. You're an auction house in this game. You can trade with players. I don't know if I need more. I don't know if I don't think somebody somebody might need to to chime in there. All right, Bunster says there's a website. Okay, but what do you trade for? Because in-game currency, like, there's not gold or anything. It took me a while to wrap my head around that, too, about there not being just money. Yeah, orbs. Just stacks of orbs. Oh, you trade currency. Oh, okay. Currency is chaos orbs and exalted orbs. I see. Oh, the current league's currency. Oh, so there is a current. Well, the currency... Does all the currency do something? Because all the orbs will actually affect item stats, you know? Well, of course you know. But... I thought that was neat. But there's there's nothing that's not just money. I need more pockets. Okay, currency can be any orb, but most people trade chaos orbs. Got it. That makes sense. Chaos orbs are... Those roll random rarity... Right? I can see why those might be the most valuable. Is there a system to convert orbs? Uh, most merchants will have a way to do that. To, like, turn one resource into another. Mostly it's just buying the orb from them and then they have a purchase price of other orbs Is that a goob candle <laughs> you know what? you're not the first person to ask but unfortunately no this was sent by a stream viewer and it is delightful yeah bon yes bongo exactly it's similar to the runes like game runes in diablo 2 i rem i remember being a part of that or uh witnessing that economy i was never so pro at at late game Diablo 2 that I was super involved in that, but I have passing familiarity with it. I need more pockets. Oh, you. Keep pushing the wrong button. Sorry. We'll get more familiar with this. I spent most of my time on Xbox so far. I didn't know that there was going to be a staggered release. But I ain't complaining. Money with a use seems so weird. Right? It shouldn't, though. Well, that was cool. You managed to kill a granddaddy crab. A pity you couldn't lug it up out of the caves for us. Could have made quite the chowder out of it. No matter. We've got one less reason to fear the dark, and I've got one more thing to thank you for. Very whatever, well. whatever. I'll sell first, fine. Yes? What little help I can offer. Yeah, you liking the candle cam? I'm glad to hear it. It's there for your relaxation and enjoyment. Oh, I don't have any gloves yet. Okay. <laughs> Never put anything in that slot. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, vendor recipes. I never really found any of those myself. they're pretty valuable welcome I 
trying to decide. Press bell. Mm -hmm. This seems good. This seems good. I'm gonna need a little, a little thunkiness if I'm gonna be in melee range. What's the build we're going with for the new expansion? I'm right now. I'm mostly freeforming. I'm just kind of bouncing around. I want critical strike. I want evasion. And beyond that, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Uh, I could, I could look a little further into the tech tree and see what skills seem really fun, but. I also don't know what kind of skill gems there are for this build. Uh, I think I'm going to have to have some kind of... It can't just be, like, physical hit. So maybe I stack dot? It's, like, critical evasion uh, chaos damage? Something like that? Nothing but possibilities. Maybe bleed? Maybe? I keep hitting that button, because M is usually map. Wait a minute. No, I went the wrong way. There's got to be another exit from here. It's not to the submerged passage. Yeah, one wobbly. I'm getting excited for Witch Queen. A lot of good shit coming around. Coming around the bend just in general. Very exciting times. Ah! Death kill the gilded. Cold damage is really doing work right now, though. Like, being able to slow enemies is just a... Is just a revelation. Just looking forward to Elden Ring. It is an exciting time. When it's when it's time for FromSoft to release a new title. It's Gamer Christmas. I'm pretty excited for Elden Ring. Not least of which because Bruce and I are trying to are gonna put together a little drunk Elden Ring gameplay. It's tradition at this point. Look at all these burbs. Hello, Burb. Sorry, I have to disrupt you. Yeah, Drunk Souls! I mean, Funhouse is probably going to do one too, so... Or rather, maybe. I'd like to think maybe. I'm hoping. I get to watch other people be tormented by Souls games. Watched the Gran Turismo 7 Deep Dive State of Play yesterday and fuck me, I'm so excited for that game. Just wish I had a PS5. I, uh... I'm gonna brag about it again. I was lucky because Steph was actually man managed to get one. So I have access to a PS5. And, uh, yeah, I have to admit. I didn't think I would get excited about Gran Turismo 7. But I am now. It's got, like, real-time track rain. It doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. Clouds looked pretty. It's crazy because it'll, like, once it hits a certain level of simulation, I feel like it's just kind of the same game, but that's okay. It's gonna. Bleh. It's gonna look pretty, and the cars are gonna go vroom. That's gonna be enough. Maybe deliver anyway. I am gonna take this moment to actively discourage anyone from drinking along with us. You have to leave your horrifically un unsafe and unhealthy binge drinking practices to the professionals.
But also, you're, uh... You're an adult. I'm not your dad. Unless I am your dad, in which case I'm not paying child support. The earth of Rayclast rejects the dead. The black spirit of storm and dream now reaches into the ground and raises up our slain Imperial foes. It leads the fallen from their graves and drives them to fight us beyond the end, rotted tooth and jagged nail. Our own remembered have joined their cursed ranks. No longer may we give our beloved to the birds, messengers of spirit to the sky, conveyors of flesh to the earth. Calm has commanded us to destroy our remembered with axe and fire. Calm is the bravest of us, willing to bear the ire of the ancestors for the survival of his people. Good old Calm. I'm good. I'm glad to hear that, Doctor Sinwar. Yeah, after the after like the first few we did, um, I would pour like full shots for myself, but I would start I would start tapering off after like four or five for other people, and then I tried to like tried to make them so that they were more spread out. I haven't had a drink since New Year's, so the drunk stream is a perfect time to hop back on the bandwagon. It's largely been the same for me. I've been, uh... I've been staying away from the sauce, which is nice. I mean, it... It's great. I feel a lot better. Not actively poisoning myself all the time. I'm but you know what? Hidetaka Miyazaki would want me to get blind drunk playing uh, Elden Ring for the first time. It's what It's what he would want. Drinking is incredibly overrated. Yeah, I mean, the trade-offs are just rough now. It's like two hours of fun for a whole day of feeling like crap. Also, I've been doing pretty good at uh, trimming down. I'm down like uh, about eight pounds since the beginning of the year. And not drinking, very good way to lose weight. Ow! Exploded real nice. I'm loving all these like server firsts popping up on the left. It's so delightful. Big day. Big day for Path of Exile. My roommate, when they were super hardcore about losing weight, just dead ass cured their alcoholism, traded some demons for other ones, but wow. What you can stop people from doing when they learn how many calories are in a beer. Yeah, beer is delicious, but... It's like several slices of bread in, in a glass. And it doesn't... Like, it just makes you hungry. <laughs> Gets you coming and going. Yeah, I like beer too. I never thought I would, which is the weird thing, but I definitely developed a taste for it. Now I try to stay civilized and keep it to like Guinness Draft, which has a lot of a lot of flavor and is pretty light in calories as far as beer goes. Yeah! Speaking of Souls games, little skelly wheel? Little skelly wheel for you? So you know this game is grimdark. Only grimdark games have skelly wheels. Wheeling, wheeling around town. I love the little goat sounds the satyrs make. Are they? Oh, they're just goat, man. All right, never mind. 
Me being too classy. Rim dank, more like. Think alcohol tastes terrible? Yeah! I mean... I don't know if anyone, aside from alcoholic... Well, I shouldn't say that. Unless I accidentally insult somebody in chat, but... You gotta be pretty hardcore into it to like the taste of alcohol. If anything, I think at its best... Alcohol can open up other flavors and then like a really good cocktail. So as an ingredient, it can it can work uh, complemented with other things. It's almost like like how chili powder can accent other richer flavors, like in a in a mole or like a chocolate sauce or something like that. Yeah, yeah, Sabro, so we're on the we're on the same wavelength. But um, I don't know that anyone is just rearing to go to just like. Just drink pure alcohol. I mean, there's some vodkas that can have an interesting, like, bouquet, and that's as probably as close as it gets if you're just drinking vodka straight. Drinking bourbon neat right now? Oh yeah, things like bourbon and whiskey and rum are, like, heavily spiced and flavored. Yeah, Everclear. Blech. I mean, that's just... I don't even know if that's safe to consume. Pretty sure... Well, I guess alcohol is bad on your esophagus, but... Good God. <sighs> Everclear with no chaser always gets the best look from people. Oh, Yeah, that's not... I guess there's different kinds of Everclear. But still... Iron point. I'm taking a double shot of Everclear and passing out on the couch. Blah. Well, if it's a double shot, then you essentially took, like, eight shots. Well, wait, no, four. Everclear's about double proof. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less, depending on the state. Yeah, that's a lot. What is Everclear? We don't have that in UK as far as I know. It's just grain alcohol. It's just alcohol and that's it. Uh, and usually it's it's overproof, so it's over 40%. It's what you use to, like, make punches. Um, if you want to, like, like mix a bunch of fruit juices together and put in, like, a few... A few shots of Everclear, you can just basically make something boozy. And that's about all you use it for. Yeah, it's nail polish remover. Oh, it's 90% where you are, Ergus Splitten? Yeah, in Texas, you could get you could get uh, Everclear that was 190 proof, aka 95% alcohol, and yeah, it's it smelled like nail polish remover, and you would like put one shot of it in like a whole drink, and it would make it really strong. It's also cheap. Like if you're just trying to get effed up on the cheap, you can just like mix it with some basic juice and. Playhouse compared to this, they sure don't make them like they used to. Just get messed. Remembers when bars sold Malibu 151? Well, I mean, bars can still mix cocktails with it, right? The tale of Brutus was a popular one in the schools of Theopolis. Taught in the hopes of deterring students from ambitions not condoned by the Templar. Brutus was warden of Axiom Prison and one of the most feared men in the Eternal Empire. But there the histories end. And the myth begins, with Brutus commissioning a witch to transform him in a mad attempt at immortality. A moment of hubris that didn't end well for anyone. If it's true, then Brutus has my pity. Some of us pay too dearly for our mistakes. Yet if you insist on learning from your own mistakes, then please, take one of these. You might need it. Yeah, Barf Step, the shadows are really nice, aren't they?
I mean, it, it super does lean into the uh, the Diablo 2 sort of bleak, grimdark aesthetic. Throw these over until I can find something. Got something to put them in. I could use orbs, but I feel like it's just not worth it right now. Anything I get, I'm just going to replace. Forgot to use dash. So yeah, you can like... You can uh, exchange four orb of transmutations for an orb of augmentation. Ah. As a recovered alcoholic, it was incredibly disgusting to hit the point of the pandemic where all distilleries began making hand sanitizer and suddenly your hands smell like rank tequila. Ugh. Yeah, I will say that, like, definitely the first time that I, uh, I smelled hand sanitizer, it smelled like party time. That, like, that association was in my brain. One day we'll be strong enough to make our way inland. Build new lives on the carcass of a dead empire. It's why God sent us maggots here. Isn't it? Base currency is scrolls if you want to trade up, yeah. In my other playthrough, I just stopped picking scrolls up, because they were starting to clutter up my inventory. Brutus, but I guess you can tr turn them into other things. He crossed that line long ago. A big lad, and as you know from Hill, Hottie Pippin. Slow. Great name. It's Thank you for the right. sub. That's the way to cut them down to size. Unless there's thaumaturgy involved, then forget the hitting bit. Just run. Here in Denmark, we had a lemonade company who made hand sanitizer, but hardly changed the bottles. It didn't go that well. Wait, did people try to drink it? There's many a way to die in Rayclast. Most of them are mercifully quick. But you get caught alive by the Goatmen. You'll wish by any god you believe in that you have. Oh, no. I've heard some of the more superstitious exiles say there's a deity these Goatmen worship. Abarath, Eater of Agony. Sounds like a right bastard if you ask me. So if the Goatmen hand you an invitation to go have dinner with the Cloven God, tell them where to stick it. Stay sharp out there. Of the third year Funhouse Celebration video from years ago. Such a cool video. Are you referring to like the the music mashup thing that I made? I was thinking about that the other day. I think it's because I actually finally ripped it from Rooster Teeth's website. Oh, okay. The crazy edited one? Well, it was, it was sort of edited. It was mostly just a bunch of GIFs with uh, overlays on top of it. If that's what you're referring to. Skeletons and shit? Okay, I think there were skeletons. I seem to remember skeletons. Okay, now the question here is... Do I want to, like, go down here to get this here? Wait. Yeah. That's a lot of critical strike chance. Chaos. Chaos. I'm here to kill chaos. I hate chaos. Critical for spells, get out of here. Oop. It's a pretty good evasion icon. Never had the pre pleasure of drinking Malort. Actually, yes. that when I was in Chicago? Yeah, those really... I'm always down to try those, like, hyper-herbal 
uh, alcohols. Because it's always a, it's a flavor experience, for sure. Malort's one of those, uh, one of those drinks that you can't really, you can't really taste anything like that without it being the drink that it is, without it being alcoholic. Oh, Malort is Swedish? I didn't know that. I'm gonna guess it's like a digestive or something like that. You like have a small amount of it after a meal. Ever had, wait, Bekarovka? No, never heard of it actually. These are some intensely dank dungeons I find myself in now. I want to get in there and kill all those dudes. Darn it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, uh. What's with the candle? Oh! Vishnawaz. Hey, it's been a long time. Uh, the candle is merely there to provide you a calming, relaxing sensation. To enhance your, your feelings of coziness and, and uh, contentment. What if it's filling me with rage? Hmm. Then perhaps this is an opportunity- Oh! Perhaps this is an opportunity for introspection. Why are you so filled with rage? At the sight of a calm, flickering candle. And I recommend everyone in chat go look up the Malort commercial on YouTube. You can link it if you want, Mega Dirk. That's fine. Mal is Latin root meaning bad. Ort is German for type or kind. So that means it is 100% etymologically sound to claim that Malort means the bad kind. The bad kind of drink? Or the bad kind of person that drinks it? Bad type. It's a good name for a drink. This is bad. You don't want this. You don't want none of this shit. up the wrong thing because I'm not accurate at clicking. Like the unique enemy names? Yeah, they're fun. All this dumb shit. I can use any of this. I'll use that. with the death lasher back in the 1920s there were bars that sold wood alcohol and they would just sell the bottles and just write poison on it people would drink it anyway yeah I guess I guess the human race has a long legacy of putting weird and unhealthy things in us for a variety of dubious reasons You know what? Drinking your own pee and taking horse medication ain't so bad in the long run.
need a moment to catch my breath. That's awesome. Isaac says my grandpa would drink half a beer every day. He'd open one, put the saran wrap on it for the next day. Lived to 101, so there must be something to it. Sounds like a nice treat. Half, half beer for a hard day's work. Find more critical map. Well, hold on. There's a there's a filter. Yeah. All the critical strike mastery nodes are super spread apart. I went all the way down here. Get out of here. 20% chance to maim enemies. I didn't know that that was like a... Is maim a debuff? Is it like a dot? Does it make people drop weapons or something? I didn't know that was a thing. All those guys are so angry over there. <laughs> yeah, there's some rabbly boys. Debuff that applies 30% reduced movement speed on the affected target for four seconds. Aha! Thank you. It's kind of like a you wanna dive in and dive out. I think duelist was the term I heard somebody else use. Good for that kind of build. There's a place called Phantasmagoria. I'm really excited to see uh, see the like the end, end game bosses and stuff. Uh, I do not speak any German, so bro. I am unfortunately very disconnected from whatever my German heritage might be. I have been to Germany though at least once. I spent a couple days in Berlin, so. I had two kebabs. Did not go to a, a music club, unfortunately. It's like the... In my mind, one of the bigger parts of the Berlin experience I didn't have is like going to an industrial club. But yeah, Sabro. Both the kebabs I got were incredible. Still think about them. I'm thinking about them now. God damn you. Okay. Hey. The discotheque. My mom's parents were forced to only speak English by my mom's school because my mom still spoke Polish. Or mostly spoke Polish. America. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, America. 
Well, there's no official language in the United States, so at least there's that. You don't have to learn English to live here. But some people are uh, some people are jerks about it. I guess there is. It's American. I guess in that way, yeah, it can be any language, as long as it's entitled and angry. I hit the bong in front of my mom, and she spanked me in it. Hashtag YOLO. Well, she can't spank the weed out of you, so... I think you won in that regard. I just had to take a little paddling. I don't want to use the word hero. I have yet to see such bravery. You don't? You need to stop picking stuff up. Oh, yeah. Uh, I want to ask to any Path of Exile experts in chat. Ooh, Jerome Powell. Powell <laughs> Jerome Powell's stimulus. Thank you for stimulating me in this stream with five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. All right, on to, on to, my, on to my question for the, uh, for the experts in attendance. Is there a correlation between the gear that drops and what it sells for? And if so, what is it? Um, the, the motivation of that question is, if I'm going to pick up gear just to sell it, what should I be looking for? Is it gear that is rare? Um, is it gear that is a, a certain type? Is it like, should I only be selling... Just pick up yellows? Okay. That's what I thought. But then I, I had... I remember having two yellows, and they sold for different kinds of currency, I thought. I was like, oh, wait a minute. One of these I want, the other one I don't. Sell rares? Okay. That's easy. Alright. I wondered if that was the case. Curious. It moves like a killer, yet reeks of thaumaturgy. Would that I could observe you more closely, my mysterious shadow. Curious. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Still the Karui barbarians advance upon us. Lina is dead. His legion slaughtered along with every eternal man, woman, and child from Lina's watch at the foot of our axle. Should the need arise, we shall retreat to a prison's gate, raising my barricade behind us. Next, our salvation is at hand. Of course, he has a hook skill. Of course, he does. Oh, he resists chaos. No one that's not doing that much. Just means more places to stick a blade. Cool. My loyal Declan, give our Lady Piety your absolute support and watch her with absolute scrutiny. There is much to learn from the likes of the Inquisitor, the Umbra, and the Soulless One. I would hate for piety to feel that she needs to shoulder such perilous wisdom alone. Dominus. Thank you, Jerome. I'm proud to be your dad. 
but that is not an admission of uh, any kind of debt of child support. You have certainly had your work cut out for you with Lionel's legion. Do not concern yourself with Marseilles' complaints. Our Emperor is fully aware of the general's fickle nature. As to your need to accelerate the implantation process, I can recommend you quite simply. Oh, King Size uh, says, I've never seen anything from this game, but I'm very interested in this type of gameplay. This would be a good game to start with, or should I go for Divinity? Well, this is free. Uh, and they are sponsoring this stream. So because of that, hashtag ad, I'm going to say this game. Use that PoE command, click on that link, get this game. Uh, you really don't have anything to lose. And uh, Divinity, I would say, is less of an action RPG and more of like an RPG. Trust. I don't think it quite has the like running action, the level ups, the, the kind of like randomized areas with gear drops and stuff. It's not really that kind of game. So if you're looking for the for this kind of experience, yeah, this is the one. This is the one you want. They just uh, they just launched a new expansion too. So it's a good time to get in. You can get get on the ground floor of this season, this uh, ladder, if that's your thing, or you can just play it. The game is 100% free. Only aesthetic stuff and uh, stash tabs, basically. I need more pockets. Oh wait. Ah. Uh. Means my my gems or my knives won't uh, potentially poison anymore, but I can k keep them leveling. You did pay for stash tabs? Yeah, I I mean I'm I can see it. Oh shoot, it changed. Um, plus, if you get to the point where you need stash tabs, my gosh, by that point it's just like I mean, how long did you play it before you felt like you needed the extra stash? Surely that had to be, you know, 30, 40, 50 hours into the game. Just playing, enjoying a free, cool action RPG in the style of Diablo 2. Don't need him till endgame? I can't imagine. I never really felt the tickle for it. And I, I didn't, well, I didn't really pick up much that I felt like any other character would want, but... <laughs> I was keeping some stuff in there. Some stuff that felt extra special. Oh, jeez. Death and taxes? Eee! See, the end game is the real game? That's usually how this goes, yeah. I feel like it's kind of similar with Destiny 2. Although, gotta buy expansions in that game. Guess what? This is all free, baby. And there's a Path of Exile 2 that they're working on. Chris Wilson, the lead dev, CEO, frontman guy, is like, if we can get you to stick around until maps uh, the end game, you pretty much own your soul. <laughs> I like it when developers are straightforward about the, d the game they're designing and its intent. Okay, let's see. What? Is this a... What's a spell? What counts as a spell? Will it say, hey, this is a spell? 
Or if it costs mana, is it a spell? Like, does this count as a spell? Because if it does, then this is a really good thing to get. The tags on the gem say spell. Oh, okay. Then these are not spells. Or wait, let me check. Attack, projectile, melee, strike, cold. Okay, not spell. Wrong button. It's P. Okay. So let me see. I want to find a critical strike or critical mastery node that I want to kind of work my way towards. This is intelligence up here, though. I feel like I want dex and strength. Which would mean this one. That's just plus critical. That's good. So maybe that's what I do. Yeah, dex. Damage over time multiplier for poison from critical strikes. Critical strikes with daggers poison the enemy. Okay. Does that only refer to, like, using a weapon that is a dagger? Icy blade. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that just refers to, like, physical melee strikes with a dagger. This doesn't count as daggers. Right? It's a projectile. Yeah, maybe I go to this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten nodes away. goes near something that looks cool, but I probably won't use. I don't know that I'm doing much with charges. Yeah, maybe I just work my way to this one here. Oh, that's right. Just try to decide what to buy. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm working my way, working my way downtown here. Yeah. Weapon you use is what's important in that part. Shadow and Ranger area have good notes for attack crit and melee crit. Yeah. I'm trying to kind of pick a long-term goal here with this build. Just need a moment to catch up. The little dying squeaks that they make are so good. Tricked. Piety got me. So I think that was Piety. Playing witch with two handed melee is so funny. Small person with huge sword. <laughs> I 
didn't think that was possible. Well, I guess anything's possible. But... I need more pockets. How do you... Yeah, I guess it just kind of starts you at a different point on the skill board. You can just go wherever you want from there. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. I keep forgetting. Is that really it? Like, the the class you pick just picks... Or it determines where you start on the passive skill grid? I know it changes, like, story dialogue, which is pretty cool. Oh, also Ascendancy. Okay. I don't think I got to Ascendancy's being a thing yet. I, I remember them being talked about. Like, I is that the thing where you have to clear the Labyrinth? To unlock Ascendancy? Okay, Pixel. Yeah, I got close to the end of Labyrinth, but fittingly, I got lost. <laughs> I got to, like, that last cluster of four nodes all the way at the right end of the Labyrinth map and just started going in circles, and then I, like... I got distracted, and then I stood on a twirling blade, and that was it. And I was like, ah! <laughs> so. Okay. I was right on the verge of unlocking that. To go. Wanna, ah! What am I doing here? Hit the right button. Okay. Maybe I have to go to, back to town. all the way to level 80 without it? Jeez. There's tools to make Labyrinth easier to navigate and do. That's interesting. I, it wasn't a problem. I, I was looking forward to doing it again. With open arms. Did and it was fun to like have death or mercy? actually knock me out of a dungeon run. I, know the answer to that one. I can think of only one reason why Piety would be here. She's interested in the sickness that pervades this place. The corruption that raises the dead and twists the wildlife into aberrations. really really wish I had more uh, green slots it's kind of holding holding back some cool stuff the I'll have to keep an eye out for that I have some items so like if I see a normal item with a bunch of green dead. slots linked one of I can probably build it up into something useful and when they write the song about you just be sure to mention that it was Tarkley who taught you everything you know now, what do you got here ooh So, okay, how do auras work in this game? It says reservation, 32 mana. So if I have the aura on, I just have 32 less mana? Is that how that works? Okay. You get less max. Okay, perfect, thank you. It's more green that I don't have slots for. Why would piety go and cut us off from the interior? Thankfully, I don't have it in me to know what that witch thinks. But I reckon you'll work it out. Once you've lowered Chevron's barricade for us, of course. Of course. Stay sharp out there. You ever miss Deckard asking you to stay a while and listen while playing this? It's certainly run through my head a couple of times, but... Oh, this game... This game doesn't make me wish for a different experience. I'll say that. I'm never, like, playing it thinking about another game. Certainly the music, I think, gets me more than anything. These, like, 
really reverby, echoey, forlorn guitar trills. Yeah, the music, the music definitely gets me. I've had it so three quarters of my mana was reserved for auras before or more. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you uh, if you have enough mana regen, you don't need max. It just has to fuel. It's just got to be ammo. Got to keep reloading your clip. Oh, reserving all of mana and using life instead is the way. What if one of the... Yeah, and I guess if one of the... Uh, if one of the auras you have is life regen, you've essentially given yourself a... Uh, you have renew clean, renewable energy. Or just a good flask. Huh? Although I feel like relying on flasks bites you when you're fighting a boss. Something that can outlast your, uh, your resources. As a, as a necro, basically, I hit a few bosses where my DPS would, got diminished because of because there were no corpses. Not only because I lost my uh, my ability to like summon minions and stuff, which I did, and that sucks, but more it was like the consume. Uh, I lost the ability to get that buff too. So once they kind of grind through all of your your zombies and your skellies, I'm usually the one making the ghosts. Someone's being busy. I'm so edgy. Desecrate. The one that gives, like, attack speed. There's a necro class. I mean, there's a witch class, and then there's, I guess, necro builds. But you can definitely hybridize it with whatever you want. The goal is to not need flasks to survive other than as debuff clear or buffing. That makes sense. Calm stands calm and looks out to the raging sea. He sings, calls, screams to our ancestors to come to our aid. He offers them gifts of old, a feast of heart and mind, muscle and marrow, cooked in the fire and rock of this angry land. We have not practiced these ways in so many years. Only in the darkest of times, most desperate of times, do we perform these oldest of rituals. Only here and now may we sacrifice and consume our own. King Bear, I was playing on Xbox, but the expansion is out on PC. And, uh, this is a sponsored stream, so I ought to play the new content, you know? Even though, it, I guess I'm seeing the the stone statues and stuff. I'm not actually, I don't have any of the endgame content unlocked. But I'm excited to get to it on PC. Couldn't imagine playing this on console. It's It's doable. I mean, if you play Di Diablo's console ports, it's pretty manageable. I don't know about the end game yet, because uh, as I've as I've admitted multiple times, I haven't gotten there. I would need those loot filters. Frankly, I would have been surprised if you hadn't recognized me. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, King, you're asking about the most recent talk to the internet. Yeah, I knew that that uh, game audio was there. I had no way to take it out. Um, so what am I doing here? Because uh, I, w I didn't know that I was going to put it on the podcast feed when I recorded it. Languishing, thanks to a pair of pretty blue eyes. And Bruce didn't have his audio uh, isolated, so thanks to one sultry little. Slip. It was either pull his version of the recording where I was on a bad mic through Discord, or use this version where we're both on good mics, but there was game audio stuck in the background. The yeah. first mate. I wrote as much in the description, but you know, flame. I understand that not everyone looks at that. Find my all flame, I beg of you. Till I feel its warmth again. Is there any talk to the internet? Sort of. Bruce and I just talked movies for a couple hours. And then I was like, huh, this would make for a good podcast. So I asked him if he uh if he would be okay with that, and he was like, Yeah, sure, fuck it. Uh I want to pin him down to do more episodes to talk to the internet. Uh hopefully. We got, we got some things cooking, got some ideas percolating. Um alright, I'm gonna use the rest real quick. Maybe get a snack. I'll be right back. See you guys. Specifically Hello, everyone. I'm back. I'm back. I ate two eggs and one apple. And it's time to learn some more lore. From Captain Fairy. I hunted the vagaries of a near-forgotten myth to a shattered cathedral in the Inner Empire. 
I took the ore flame and encased it within a lantern of pure silver. The only element it seemed incapable of consuming. Oh, the all flame does many a marvelous thing in the hands of one who knows how to harness its power. Oh, banish any thoughts of using it for yourself. It would burn you alive. Pulled chat out of some existential shit. Existential shit? Yeah, I think that... So, uh, Marzard, you're asking what that is. I think that was the Journeyman Project 2. My loveliest neighbor in this most salubrious of neighborhoods. Salubrious. Facing Mervale and finding my all flesh. Seems like a fun game, doesn't it? Mutually Good intro. Endeavors. I'd much prefer you to live to see your errand fulfilled. Although it is possible that my wayward slave girl fell prey to one of Mervale's slithering progeny. If that be the case, you look resourceful enough to handle a tentacled wench or two. But if Mervale herself has my flame, be very wary. That necklace of hers provides the old siren with some subtle wiles indeed. Indeed? If the history books are to be believed, the race of the daring presented the necklace to Mervale on bended knee. And from the moment he placed that little chunk of Rayclast at her throat, Mervale began to sing. It's told her sweet voice grew to fill even the largest concert halls of Oriath, and brought warmth to even the coldest of hearts. But then she began to change. Her mind and body twisted, as did her songs. All the sweetness remained, while the sanity fled. Knowing what little I do about the powers that lie dormant here in Rayclast, I'd surmise that if you have Mervale's necklace, you... Path of Exile 2 versus Diablo 2 Remake. Um, I mean, this game has more content in it than Diablo 2. And it's free. So... They're sponsoring me, so I feel like if I just say Path of Exile 2, it'll be like, well, no shit, because they're sponsoring you. So hashtag ad, but yeah, Path of, Path of Exile. Just need a moment. But don't take my word for it. Play Path of Exile for free now. Using the path of or PoE command in chat. Goes to a trailer for the most recent expansion, which launched today. Oh, what's that? Whirly guys. The only ad I see is addictive gameplay. For the ripe price of free. Oh! And I leveled. Doesn't get better than that. This Let's see here. Enemies converting some of your physical damage to chaos damage and, and inflicting poison. So chaos... Oh, I see. 31 to 69 chaos damage. Alright. Chaos and poison are different. But at least I do have an ability that does chaos damage. It's not a complete waste getting that passive. Oh, I didn't... Steve, I didn't know about that. I didn't know that the remake had login issues. Well, it's expansion day. And uh, I logged in, no problem. I would say out of like, and, and out of the maybe 20 to 30 hours I've played on Xbox, there was only one time where the game hitched up a little bit. So it's been, it's been rock solid for me. Uh, maybe I should start trying to kill these guys again. These are orbs of transmutation, I think? Some kind of orb. All right, fine. Uh, 
Only physical and chaos can inflict damage can inflict poison. Oh, that's interesting. Night scrape. Oh, a jeweler's orb. That's what that is. Well, that's kind of what I need. Uh. You know how to sell a game? I'm not super into Path of Exile, but now I'm like, hmm. Well, it's really easy when the game sells itself, uh, Marizard. I mean, truth be told, like, mo <laughs> almost said most. No, all. I, I usually try to couch my language, but in this case, I'm the one making the decision, so I'm comfortable saying this. I don't carry any sponsor that I don't believe in, and I only believe in things that are awesome. And Path of Exile is awesome. So, I've been playing it, like, all week. Uh, I was probably going to start playing it anyway. This was just a perfect combination of, like, well, I already wanted to do it. Uh, I'm getting an offer to do a sponsored stream, so why not? You know? For you, it's free. Absolutely free. Horror Walker. <laughs> I wasn't paying that close of attention to the, uh, to, like, the rare enemy names, but now I will, because, yeah, they're all pretty great. <laughs> ah, another Calm. entry with Calm. Gone. No, how could Calm leave? Has taken our finest 500 warriors and descended into the depths of Rayclast. He spoke to us of a vision, a gift from the ancestors. Calm oh. has been deceived. The vision was a gift from the Black Spirit. It has conquered Kal. The Black Spirit has conquered the Karui Way. Hairi has made ready her canoes. We will take those that are left, 500 forgotten families, and carry them back to their true homes. Back to Ma Makanui. Kal's promises have led us into nightmare. Hairi will leave. Oh. Bringing up a tooltip killed it. Can't believe Kaum let us down. Kaum. Don't need it. Feels great. Ugh. A ton of enemies just pop like that. Sinfully good. What flavor candle do I have burning? This is a uh, vineyard flavor. Gum fangs. Is there a build that involves corpse explosions and having tons of minions running around? I know that's kind of specific. Diablo 2 is the only game I know that had a build and it was really funny. Absolutely yes, Eric Splitten. Not only is there a build, there are many builds like that. Um, Corpse explosion is a is an ability in this game, as are uh, summoning minions, and there's multiple different kinds of minions you can summon that all have their own properties. I'll do you one better. Um, so this game has support gems, which kind of almost function like Final Fantasy VII materia. You know how like there would be linked slots, and then you would put like an all materia next to a cast, and then you could cast it on everyone. Very similar to that. Um, there is gear that has. Uh, uh, linked slots so you can put your like summon skeleton ability in one slot link it to something else that changes the skeleton's properties allows you to cast more of them attach them to other things like it's it's really cool and uh not only so let's see here not long story short not only can you have a ton of little guys running around but you can even customize the guys and how they work then they dead raise zombie raise skeleton raise specter animate guardian vault dead uh, yeah, Corpse Explode, or whatever that one's called. You can summon corpses, then make those corpses explode. That is a legit strat. Yeah, for me, I had, uh, what is it, Infernal Legion or something like that? 
where uh, it makes it makes them on fire. So they take damage, but they also do melee or they do fire damage to people around them. And then when they run out of life, they explode. So essentially, I would have these little skeleton grenades that I would summon on the enemies. These flaming skeletons would just pop out of the ground, attack a couple times, burn, and then explode and kill everybody. And I had that linked to another uh, ability that would randomly summon a specter on enemies that they kill. So the skeletons would be going to town. While they're killing enemies, they're also summoning these ghosts that are also on fire and explode. Infernal Legion works well on skitter bots. They don't die. I don't even know what skitter bots are. Popcorn skeletons? Yeah, yeah. Because they make a little pop sound. It's great. And it was, uh, for me, it was ideal to just get to know the game. And also playing on console, I was a, I was a little like, well, controller might make me a little fumbly, but AF skeletons are doing all the work. And then, uh, and then I got four, uh, spots, so I put movement speed and attack speed on them. Which also apply to the spirits they summon, so... The skeletons would go berserk, and then summon a bunch of also berserk specters. Good time. Herald of Purity? Hmm. What's the Herald of Purity? I don't think I ever found that ability. I'm a gardener clearing the weeds so that the crops may grow. Maybe this is the gem that uh, reforges the color of slots? You have a compelling storyline or storytelling. I think so. It's pretty metal. I mean, it's not too dis dissimilar thematically from basically Diablo 2. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Uh, is it Paizan SSI? Oh, there they are. Wait. Yeah. Superior summon skeletons. Oh, I didn't know gems could be superior. Oh, it's probably because it's 9% quality. But yes, that is a... This is the cornerstone of my build on Xbox. But yeah, the story's all delivered in um, conversations. There's lore pickups in the middle of the levels, too. Icon is for ability gems. Oh, I see. Events in this um, in this expansion, basically the the system where you can feed gems into these stone statues and fight powered up enemies. The quality of the gear they drop is so bananas good. It's a pretty uh, pretty great way to power through the the campaign pretty quickly. 
Treasure chest. Ooh. No, it's a, it's a crab. It's too fast. It hurts. Ow. Wait, there's another one? This happened before. Weird. Okay. Oh. Little devil. Thanks for the prime. Ah! Skilly! Multiple skillies! I guess they're more spirits than skillies. Hey! What the hell? Cold damage, like to see it. Oh, she, uh... Strangle charm. all the way at the bottom of the map. Get back there. There's really only one one other exit. Yeah. That's trouble. I hope everyone's having a good Friday so far. Hopefully a long and restful weekend in front of you. My old flame, my blessed damned old flame. Oh, you want your moon of twilight now, do you? Unfortunately, necessity is what it is, and for the all flame to give life, it must first be kindled with life. And since suitable kindling is in short supply around these parts, I have little option but to make do. Please understand. Oh, learning how to eat with braces? Oh no! Oh man, I remember that. Me greatly to do this. It feels really gross for a long time because man, does stuff get stuck in there. But you get used to it, and then you get to have them off someday. Which is really what it's all about. You get them off when you get them off finally, and your teeth are all smooth and normal. Oh man, nothing beats it. I'm actually gonna have to get my teeth adjusted here. I guess they moved around on me. I almost feel sorry for you, Fair Graves. Right, twice. Probably gonna have to do rubber bands again. Not looking forward to that, but also king size. Congratulations on passing all your exams. That's always a great feeling. Just need a moment to catch my breath. I had a tradition where every semester, once I pa once I finished all my finals, I would go into my room and I would turn on my speakers really loud and I would play Andrew WK's Party Hard. 
That was my I'm done with tests for now song. Unfortunately, I didn't end up partying all that hard, but I still think like playing video games without a care in the world can still be a party. Siren's Cove. The party's in here. And, in here. and we can only hope that she continues to return the favor. If you must take your chances with the siren, then have this. It may be of some help. But please, know that you don't have to do this. Tarkley and I are getting used to having you around. Ugh. <sighs> So, yeah, I, Volatile Dead was not the one that I was using before. It was the one where you, like, consume... Uh, what is it called? Uh, it's like something offering. But this is pretty cool. Corpses near the targeted location explode, dealing damage in a small area, and creating an orb which moves towards nearby enemies before dealing spell damage in a larger area. Explosion of the corpse is not affected by modifiers to spell damage. It cannot be reflected. Oh. So is the, is the damage only dictated by the level of the gem? Seems like it. Seems up to three corpses. Explosion middle state damage. Yeah. Maximum of 60 orbs. That's many orbs. A fair amount of orbs. Although chaos damage, I should probably le lean towards. Plus, it's like a. I can actually slot it. Rise of projectile applies damage into debuff when it hits. We're healed for a portion of the debuff damage. Debuff is spread by contagion. and strain is beastly? Yeah, it seems really good. I think I'm gonna try it. Start messing with it. I don't have a single blue slot. Oh, I do. Okay. Jeez. Fairgraves was a good man. Wires on the inside of my mouth and not the front of my teeth. Oh, okay. I had one of those too, Ruby. Or for worse. Usually for worse when it came to the natives. There's some peace in the knowledge that he now... Oh, so, well, yeah, what you had is a permanent retainer. Speak of fair graves again, I actually asked to have mine removed, to but I still have to wear a retainer for the rest of my life, I think, at night. You! Essence Strain slash Contagion is a tried and true build. Spread the essence everywhere. Yeah, and I guess they all keep popping and forming more orbs and stuff. Uh, I guess I need the Contagion skill, Jeb. No, contagion is green? What, what is Contagion? I kind of remember that. What now? Marseilles commanded the southernmost of the Eternal Legions. Here at Lion Eye's watch. Why was he called Lion Eye? Crazy fool had his left eye taken out and a golden hued gem put in its place. His head must have made quite a pretty adornment for King Golem's belt. Oh. It's blue and you can buy off Nessa. Okay. Siren's Cove belongs to Mervale. Those butchering buccaneers sailed off that way. The ones that plundered my uh, poor Mary Gold. It would be poetic justice if they'd stopped off for a sing-along with Mervale's lovely daughters on their way home. <laughs> Piety's raised Chevron's barricade. Not that I was likely to ever make the trip inland, but it was nice to have the dream. Hang on a moment. Got a stray thought seeking safe harbor. Piety's one to watch her own back, so she'd never cut off an escape route from possible trouble inland. The cunning witch must be able to lower that barricade from the other side, somehow. Contagion is an AOE thing. What little help I can offer. They're like all, all available already. Oh, contagion's blue. Okay. I don't, I don't have two blue slots. I barely had one. Yeah, summon Phantasm. That's the fun one.
Frost Blink is kind of nice. I think I really need that. They updated the stream manager on Twitch Mobile. That's nice. Oh, that is really nice. I've basically give, given up on using it. Yes. It's just it's rough. I thought they gave it a once over. I wish I could use this. kind of waiting to find gear with the, the right slot distribution, I guess. I'd like to see here. I'd like two blue connected slots and more more green in general. More connected green in general. Would be nice. Oh, Boomer finally got a Wii re Wiimote from an old game shop for $55? What? Like, for real? It costs that much? Yeah, that sounds like way too much. Welcome, husband. We knew in our hearts that you would find us. Come to Reso. Ambrosia and Amarissa must meet their father. Come, my father. Return to your family. Well, hey, I'm glad you're gearing up, though. <laughs> Silent Hill Shattered Memories is awesome. Is that what you're going to be playing? That's what it sounded like. He's becoming collectible now. Feels like everything is becoming collectible. suggestion for you or to you for yourself and viewers sure doesn't mean that I'll take it but feel free to suggest whatever you like big ass chest Dim Screech. Awesome. Hey, Stealthy Panther. Hope I'm doing well. I'm doing very, very well. Friday night. Hang out with a friend later. Playing Path of Exile now. Get to spread the word about this wonderful game. And the expansion they just launched. Hashtag ad. Yeah, good times. Oh, always show sockets? Yeah, let me see here. You can you can see it next to that unless unless you mean something else. That's mostly what I'm looking at. Wait. I wasn't actually looking at it though. Yeah, that's where when it says always show sockets, what does that mean? Or where would it always show sockets? Because I can see it right there, and that's mostly what I'm looking at, the little icon.
Oh, in your inventory? Okay. Bad idea. Like this is really good. Attack damage, movement speed, critical strike chance. Chronologist, hey, thanks for the prime. Gotta make some decisions now. I guess it, I can't find a skill that just seems really juicy that I want to super go after. I mean, this one's cool, but good lord. It's on the other side of the talent grid. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yeah, maybe this one. This one's just really basic. That's up the intelligence tree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's this one. Oh, that's for spells. I guess this is a spell. Are you a spell? Spell. Okay. Yeah, that would give me criticals on Essence Drain. Or it would lean into criticals for Essence Drain. Around anything cool? Leeching? Chaos, maybe? Your ice. I'm doing some ice, so yeah, maybe maybe this is good because I can get some critical. I can get some ice. Spell suppression if I feel like making a layover. All right, how am I gonna get there? Probably this way, here and then up. Get more evasion. I have decided. Oh, COVID wiped out all the swap meets in your area? Uh, they haven't even come back? I guess there was Omicron. COVID part two. It's when you thought it was safe to go to Taco Bell. I, I think I know enough about myself now. That was part three? I guess so. Oh yeah, I guess there was a... <laughs> I know the lore. I guess I haven't been paying attention to the lore. I'm busy enjoying the wonderful free action RPG experience, Path of Exile. Oh, you live in East uh, Los Angeles? Yeah, it's... LA's, LA's been pretty rough, huh? I'm on the west side over here. Some of, a lot of the restaurants have come back, you know? They've figured out how to do patio seating and stuff. It doesn't seem like in my neighborhood, at least, a whole lot of the businesses went under. Or maybe they're just doing really bad and it hasn't all crashed in yet, but... Finding old games is a bitch to find. Well, I'm gonna take this chance to plug a, a spot near my neck of the woods. There's a uh, Cali Games. It's in Hawthorne, but it's uh, which is probably a bit of a drive for you. There's also what World Eight in Koreatown. That was a couple of the retro game shops that I've been to in LA. 
Kelly Games has a great selection. I went there when I had to, I couldn't find my sensor bar. And that only cost $10, so. And I bought all the Ace Combats from there. visiting California and maybe I can find some game shops in San Diego? I'm sure you can. Yeah. Like, tabletop gaming for certain. Uh, retro games, may or retro video games, maybe. Any cool plans for the weekend? Um, hanging out with friends, hopefully playing... I have a... There's a old friend that's in town right now, so... Hopefully spending some quality time there. I want to try to play Dying Light 2. Uh, more with Bruce. Uh, let's see here. The embargo for Sifu is up on Sunday, so I'm really excited to play that. But right now, it's just it's just goddamn it's weekend vibes and Path of Exile, and that's just great. What was the K Town game place? I think it's called World Eight, something like that. I might have to I might have to do some googling. They've actually been a sponsor for uh, Games Done Quick in the past, which is really cool. Voice Combat 5 is your favorite? I played a little bit of 5. I finished Zero, and I finished, uh... I finished Assault Horizon. Which people don't like for some reason, but I really, really enjoy it. But now I'm playing through the whole series because it's Sweet Plains, it's awesome music, and it's anime. Which means it's exactly my my thing. Right now I'm playing through an uh, English patched version of Ace Combat 3 Electrosphere. I'm trying to play the genuine authentic experience. Oh my god! Utterly de destroyed. It's completely worked. Folded like a piece of laundry. Oh my gosh. Woo! I like that they spawn uh, spawn enemies all around you in those circumstances. Got me slipping. Congrats, oh, siphon it. Not even using that ability. Poison. I'm gonna put poison on my ice daggers again, because that was a really good combo. Hey, Pop-Tart. Just got home, started cooking. Ah, that's always a nice feeling. Hopefully your shift went well. Looking at World 8, they have a copy of G-Guy game for $70. What's G-Guy game? Uh, RPS, yeah, I'm in Los Angeles. Have you been to Frank and Sons swap meets? I have not. I haven't been to any swap meets in Los Angeles. Uh, I, my, you know what's weird? My dad used to go to a swap meet in the DFW area, and I did actually kind of like walking around and just looking at all the tables. There's so many, there's so much stuff in the world, so many things. Frankenstein's his boss. Ooh. Well, I'm, I'm intrigued. Ah, oh, darn it, the skills been around. Weird. That 
I'm missing, I guess. Yeah, they do game tournaments and stuff at World A too. It does. It does seem. I only went there a couple times, but it does seem like it's just a generally cool hangout spot. I don't know if they want it to be that. You know, sometimes it could be weird if just a bunch of people are hanging around and trying to run a business. Oh, here we go. Okay, no deaths. Here we go. Gotta open it. This is locked. Aww. Aww. Making sense for fan culture and retro games, right up your alley. Okay. I. The only, hmm. I would. I would enjoy window shopping. I think. I tend to not buy stuff, especially when it's just like collectibles and curios. I just don't have a lot of space for it, to be honest. I don't have a lot of collection spaces. So if I if I started getting into just like collecting games, even if they're ones that I like and ones that I want to play. I don't know that I have a have a spot for it. Maybe I could get like a cabinet and put it in the garage or something. It might work. <laughs> oh. Talking about pizza? Oh, damn, you're making me hungry. Friday is a pizza day. If there's any if there's any day for pizza. Pizza has Friday energy. Or Friday has pizza energy. One of the two. They can both be true at the same time. I was hoping I would find a key. But whatever. I barely owned anything at all till like a year ago. Got better pay and started treating myself to things. Yeah, it's interesting you bring that up. I feel like I've been... I've worked low paying jobs for such a long time that it's... To some degree I've sort of trained myself out of wanting things. Which has, has po po positives and negatives, really. First dance with a lady of quality. Really should let herself go like that. Got him. I need more pockets. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, nothing beats a nothing beats a good like phase change in a boss fight. Doreso gave me the gem, kissed me, promised that he would be by my side forever. I sang for him. I sang for Oriath with his gem at my throat. Kalisa's gem. Oh, see you, King. Congratulations on finishing up your schoolwork. I sang I'll catch you later. Echo, Have a good weekend. Arius that had once made the Empire weep. I listened to Kalisa's lullabies in my dreams. I gave myself to her music, mind, 
and body. Doreso left me for Zahn with a promise to free me from Kalisa. I begged him not to go, tried to show him the wonder of my transformation, the beautiful daughters he would soon meet. He couldn't see. None of them could see. I fled from their hatred. When Doreso returns, I will cast his cure away. I will teach him what true love is. Yeah, Mega Dirk, I agree. This game's voiceover is really, really good. Yeah, jungle time. Connor the Third, hey. Forest. Death has too many damned places to hide in a forest. Well, I'm glad that you like my streams, and I'm having a great night. Thank you. I'm, I'm genuinely blessed to be able to share beautiful video games with so many beautiful people. I have to wrap my head around it sometimes. Monk time. Time to cull the herds a little bit. Wonder how they managed to make money on just cosmetics and storage? Uh, I'm I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna assume. I'm adjusting my mic here. I'm gonna assume that like I'm gonna assume that a game like this. Somebody mentioned the developer talking about once you get to a certain point in the game, they own you or whatever. Said facetiously, but also truthfully, because you know people people put themselves in it. I can feel. I can very much feel this is the kind of game where if you get invested, if you're 150 hours in and you really really like the game, and they've done their job and they've given you a lot of good content. I feel like most at that point, most people are just like, "Yeah, I'll give you twenty bucks for whatever." I need more. Pockets. I feel like buying these these wacky looking wings for my character because I'm I've been here so long and I'm invested in this. It's a it's the exact way it should work, right? Kind of need a stash tab if you're playing for a long time. Yeah, it's just a natural evolution of it. And at that point, I feel like most people once they've played that long have no problem uh, chipping in some money. Ada two, thank you for the prime. Um, I'll say it this way, like. I thought you were a fool for seeking out murder. People, people sub. <laughs> they don't have to. Now, I don't know. Still, you've delivered. It is the best situation where you can you. you can put something up and, and then people voluntarily pay for it. That's more than any of us could have hoped for. But please, consider this. What have you become when even nightmares fear you? An excellent question. That's deep. There's two more linked green slots. Can I move this blue anywhere? No. Darn it. Oh, that is three. That's right. That's why I got that one. Oh, that's rad. figure out what I'm going to do with this hat. So, um, wait, oh, what? I put it, I did not put that. Did I even slot it? I didn't slot it. That was silly. No wonder, no wonder it wasn't doing anything. Uh, let's see. Oh, I haven't been using precision at all either. Jeez. Let me see if there's another support that I can put on my frost knives. Or maybe... No, wait. Uh, wait, that's blue. Never mind. I need two linked blue slots to do the, the other one. There's this. And there's more cold damage. Maybe this, hmm, maybe this is good because if I'm stacking crit, then having more projectiles that do less damage each increases my probability of getting critical hits. Hmm. Oh wait, it, it only applies to essence drain. Never mind. Wait, this doesn't count as a projectile? That's a projectile. 
but yeah, Frostblades has an X on it. Okay. Gold damage works for it. Let's see what else there is. Hello. Oh, so wait, Contagion isn't a support? Okay, let's see here. Debuff is spread by Contagion. Oh, okay. So you have to hit them with the Essence Strain, then hit them with the Contagion, and then as Contagion spreads, it will also carry Essence Strain. Is that how that works? Vice versa? Oh, so hit them with Contagion first, then Essence Drain? Essence Drain carries Contagion? I'm... I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy if I try to think about that. Essence Drain and Contagion is a hit and miss for many. I dislike it myself. Many love it. What does Onslaught do? Google this. Buff, 20% increased attack, cast and movement speed. Alright, that sounds good. I could just throw that on my frost knives. Um, running Phantasms is always fun. Arcane Surge might be useful. Oh wait, that's blue. Mm, Pierce might be good too. There's two additional targets. Hmm. Movement skills such as Flame Dash. Yeah, I have Dash Dash. I just have Dash. Whatever it is. There it is. And I have fr I had frost blink. I could, should probably just swap out dash with that. Okay, so this one does work for frost blades. So well, I feel like onslaught is probably. Why is there a little fist on it? What does that mean? For dashes to blinks. It's all in preference in most cases. Let's see. Pretty good about that. Killer, aren't you? That singing squid didn't stand a chance. Knew it from the first time I saw those sharp peepers of yours. Pirates notwithstanding, I thank you on behalf of all the fallen brethren of the waves. Now, 
that the final cadence has been played. No one need remember Mervale's song. Right, like Cobra Lash? It's Cobra Lash. Huh. Okay. Like AoE dot. I'm using a sword right now. I really, I kind of like the sword a lot. Damn me. I didn't think it possible. All these souls Mervale and her brood have consumed over the years. You've done right by those that are dead and by those who still might live. Yeah, Bestel is pretty base. I agree. I like Bestel as a character. He's fun. He writes poems. He writes songs, I guess. That's cold damage, so that's that. Okay. The contagion is chaos damage. All right. That's good. I have I have some things that buff. I took like one passive that buffs uh, chaos damage. Let's see. Looks good, looks good. Moving right along. Going to Act 2. Potion. Okay, I see. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't have it. That's right. I need another blue slot for that. Strong candle, still burning strong. Yeah. It was a uh, it was a gift from a uh, viewer. They have excellent tasting candle, I have to say. I have one more candle after this one, and then I'm gonna have to stock up again. what I'm here to do, though. I'm something of a head staver. Ah. I am bruised. I hunt boar. Hunt to feed my people. You are not a friend to us. You need to run faster than boar. Boar. They fall from trees. Try to swarm over you like fleas. Their chieftain Stand back when he beats his chest. Bark is worse than bite. Travel far, 
We got to open a mystery box. Oh! Heritage weapon effect. Cool. Oh! Oh! Neat! What drop? The sword's all sparkly now. What? Got little trails on it. That look in your eye. I recognize it. A survivor. Just like I know. Oh, right. The. That is my name, Exile. The bestial Coliseum thing. In my native tongue, it means lone fighter. That is what Aina was for many years. But it is dangerous now to fight alone. Too dangerous, even for the mighty Aina. We are in the final days of this world, Exile. That, I am sure. We survivors must unite, prepare for the end, and delay its arrival as long as we can. For that, we will need supplies, weapons, shelter, food. The others here do not understand me the way you do. Meet me in the riverways, and Aina will explain what must be done. They were the first survivors. The first one showed my people that to win, you must outlast. They left this world long ago to seek other survivors. But they will return, and when they do, I will join them in the Great Grove. And you will join Aina, yes? Yes! Uh, is this game worth looking at if I haven't played an MMO since RuneScape in 2007, but I fucking loved it back then? Coldamon? Coldaman? I would say yes, absolutely. This game rocks. Uh, I mean, if you played Diablo, and you liked it, it's free to play Diablo, and it's a really, really, really good version of that. Uh, it's got an outrageous endgame, too, so if you feel like going... If you feel like getting really deep and going mega pro in it, you can. It it's business. all free! No one free for you. But this is a sponsored stream. Uh, so that is going to influence how uh, enthusiastically I recommend it, but I've been playing it on my own uh, a lot and really, really enjoying it. So I don't want to do any sponsored gameplays for games that don't get the quintessential gamer seal of approval, and Path of Exile's got it. Yeah, if you'd like to check it out, uh, use the PoE command. Kind of Click on the link. Like Irami. He is good to us. Helps us. You will stay and help us too, yes? A beast hunts us in her dreams. A great white beast. Tortured and maddened by bad men. A long time gone. She will come here one night to tear, crush, and eat. Her pain tells her to. Find the white beast and end her pain before she shares it with us. You and me, we are the same. We dream big. We find new places. We do not tell stories. Stories are told about us. I learned the world. She have like a Yeah, she has like a wolf pelt. And not pig heads like Groost. She has a wolf pelt outfit, but the little paws are covering up her boobs. The road. It runs east and west of here. That rocks. The west it passes the bandit woman's camp. Then it turns south to the sea. But you say it is now blocked. I have seen a strange thing in the rock by that south pass. Like one of Grust's carvings, but of stone. You should go look at it. What has been closed might be opened again. I like Yina. She thinks bigger than this place. She knows there is more to life than hunting and growing Morka. There is spirit. Grust is the big man in the tribe. All do what Groost says, but his spear goes limp when faced with the eight legs. With this perspective, it makes it look like hands. It kind of does. You see the little fingers, like the little paw fingers coming around? Her, fur, her skin, it reminds me of biting winter. I see her one night, follow her to a cave in the old fields to the east, listen to her howl at the stars. A sad, sad sound. Great white beast. She full of old pain.
That's tragic. I have seen many an exile come and go, into the forest or into the ground. You seem different somehow. They're for protection. Good, <laughs> bad, it's hard to tell. Nice, Scotticus. The name is Eramir. And for now, you have the benefit of my doubt. Those bandits you've encountered out there, they're the dregs of Oriath. And with any foul broth, the nastiest chunks bubble to the surface. The lords of Larceny, Oak, Creighton, and Alira, the self-appointed monarchs of the forest, Creighton in the east, Alira in the west, Oak in the north, and this village, this tribe, we pay their taxes. I would never venture to say that life in Rayclast is easy, but with those three gone, well, living here might just become. Oop! Couldn't get it out old time. <laughs> Couldn't get get it out on time. The Asmir, old timer. The culture that descended from the Asmirian mountains. So many lore here. Oh, I want to side with Craitlin. Or Creighton. I don't remember what the what the perks were. Their history The first time playing, I couldn't I couldn't bear to betray Aramir. Yeah, if somebody has like crit or life steal, that would be nice. To repay my debt, I've taken in the orphans of a dead empire. Attack speed, dodge, and move speed. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Large heart. That's cool though. I get to see it turn out a different way this time though. Gina dabbles in things she should not. The spirit she obsesses over. If she is not careful... Kill all is usually fine. Skill points can be big too. That's what it took the first time. It was nice. I wanted to... Specifically, I wanted to get to the skills in the tree that let me have like plus one zombie and plus one skelly. I wanted to start building my army. Strong right arm. That let me get it a little bit earlier. No man hunts better. And no man could do more to protect the ones he loves. Tales and songs are Silk's meat and drink. Would have made a fine bard in the old empire. Long John Leveler. For a fraction of what he says true, we'd have nothing to fear from bandit nor beast with silk among us. I've read about Chevron of Umbra and what she did to the warden at Axiom. You did well to end Brutus's sorry existence. Slop one shot. But Chevron's barricade, that's sad news indeed. There is little enough freedom in Rayclast as it is, but to be stranded on that dismal coast, I pity the exiles to come. Would I know how to lower the barricade? Afraid not. I was a bit distracted the last time I took the pass. Hungry goatmen to avoid on that side, Alira's thralls on this side. I embraced the patronage that High Templar Dominus offered my struggling museum. I took his favor and conducted his research into the thaumaturgical arts practiced within the Eternal Empire. The wicked spark. I wish I'd known then what I know now. That I was pandering to the warped dreams of a madman. The end of learning is the beginning of death. All right, let's start knocking out some quests. The river way. I think that's this one. Let's see if I can get some time for this league. Do a flicker strike again for fun. It is this land is dying. Yeah. But even a rotting carcass has its uses. Yes. Then it is settled. We will make rotting carcasses. Flicker strike sounds you awfully anime. Use the tools we will need to survive. But only the finest rotting carcasses will do. Aina is not picky, but I cannot say the same for the first ones. There are a few beasts nearby, Exile. Special beasts. We will find them. We will fight them. I will catch them. You will enjoy the fruits of my labor. We will be best friends. Now, let's hunt. Together. Uh who cannot love Einhar? Monsters. Soulless monsters. I 
should have, uh... Need to remember to hit my, uh, dash. When I start getting pinned down like that. What's the, uh, what's the ability where you just, like, machine gun fire arrows? That seems like it'd be really fun to do. Seems like, seems like it, getting overwhelmed would. I feel like at some point you just start to get overwhelmed all the time. It's a problem. It's what you have movement skills for. Run away! This one is captured. See the value of uh, contagion here. I just need another uh, blue gem slot. So I can do the wombo. Ranger always gets buffed and rebalanced. Okay. Runts Gaunt Slicer. He wasn't enough. Hey, one wobbly badger. Thank you for the resub. How you doing? You're gearing up for a nice, a nice relaxing weekend. Maybe draw a little bath for yourself. Put in some bubbles. Put on that Enya album you got, got waiting for you. What's modern Enya? What's new age music for 2022? I actually want to know because I like that kind of music. <laughs> Unironically. Lo-fi hip-hop. Yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. Lo-fi hip-hop d doesn't have the like... Watching dolphins swim through an endlessly blue ocean kind of energy, though. I guess that's what I would hope for, but you're right. Lo-fi hip-hop is exactly what it is. You're going on a date today? Oh, congratulations. It's going to be great. You're going to have a great time. Be yourself. Well, it's been eight years since you were on a date. Oh, I can see why you'd be, be a little activated then. A little percolating. 
I went on a date once. Just happened to be with the coolest person on the planet. I didn't go on that date. Wouldn't have met them. So yeah, no glove, no love. Have fun, but keep it safe. It was Bruce, you're right. All right. Found a personals for, for Bruce Green and it just said, hey, I'm a rad dude. Let's hang out. And I was like, man, I want to know a rad dude. The rest is history. We tenderly embraced at the Real Big Fish show. Check out Anila. Just discovered her. A bit of New Age flavor. The Loom is a good place to start. I'll say, I'll say, calling something the Loom is the right way to get me interested. That sounds about right. Let me check this out here. All right. And if it has a warbling flute, kind of like this, more's the better. Everyone needs a rad dude in their life. I agree. It's a shame that there are people out there forced to live without rad dudes. Whoa. I just got nothing personnel. Yeah, rad dudes and waifus. Yeah, that's what life's all about. Okay. So you can't, like, you can't, you can't dash out of everything. There's some roots that prevent you from dashing. Do not worry, little beast. We are friends now. Stuns and freeze, for example. Oh, okay. Just different kinds of of uh, crowd control or rooting. Dimmy, thank you for the hundred bits. Thanks for being eleven out of ten background entertainment while I'm doing maintenance on four guitars. Hey, that's that's on it. That's truly what I seek to provide here. I want to provide the comfy background noise for your workday. Those are the streams I enjoy, so it just you know, kind of makes sense. That's what I want to create. And I'm glad to hear it. I actually did a little uh, guitar maintenance work when I was younger. That was technically the first job I had. A local guitar shop in my hometown would take in guitars that people tried to modify, so they were just busted. Like, basically it was like broken guitars, things that people would trade in. And then, you know, I was super young, so it's not like anyone was expecting a miracle, but uh, they'd basically give them to me and see if I could fix them. And if I could, then I'd get like 20 bucks a guitar. So a lot of the times it was just sort of taking out a bunch of bad wiring and rewiring things or identifying the parts that were broken. Wind 558, thanks for the sub. This one is captured. I now will take it. Nice. 24 months. That's what the hell? That's awesome. Oh! Dive bombing spectral birds. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the sweetest high school job I've ever heard. It wasn't a high school. I w that was when I was in junior high. When I was in high school, I was already working in a, a fried chicken restaurant. And I also worked at a... I worked at the public library when I was 15. 
apparently you can be... You can work for the state when you're 15. Otherwise, it, you had to be 16 in Texas. No, wait. It's 14 and 15. My bad. I worked for the library when I was 14. And when I was 15... Uh... I didn't work for a while. Then when I was 16, I think, is when I got a... Fried chicken job. Which was great. That's how I afforded a PlayStation. Pretty rad having money. GameCube came out, I just bought that shit. Back when you could just buy new consoles? Yeah. I have a vivid memory of, of waking up, like, the weekend the GameCube was supposed to come out, getting in my car, driving for 45 minutes to the closest Best Buy, and then just walking and grabbing a box from a stack that was just out in the middle of the aisle of GameCubes. It wasn't really a question of, like, are, there going, are they going to have any? It was more like, have they even arrived yet? That was more the thing of, like, did the shipment get here? I could have called, but I actually wanted the surprise when I got there, and luckily I just found a whole stack of them. I was like, awesome. I got that in Wave Race and Star Wars. That was a great day. That was like that was the first day that I like full on bought a console and a couple of games with my own money. Uh Library sounds comfy. You must be a master of that Dewey Decimal system. I actually started to get pretty proficient with Dewey Decimal, yeah, back in the day. I was a page when I was fourteen, so my job was to take the books that the librarians had checked back in. And get them back on the shelf, where they where they need to go. So yeah, I started to get very familiar with Dewey Decimal. Got really good with alphabetizing, which actually came in handy later when I worked at GameStop because we had to alphabetize all the shelves and all the games in the drawers and stuff. So I was pretty crack at that. Um, the best, well, this is the best job I've ever had by a long shot. But the second best uh, was when I was in college. I worked at a library too. And I was a, basically kind of the same job. I didn't shelve books, but uh, I was a, a librarian assistant. So essentially what I would do is um, I'd go around and clean all the public computers every day. So I'd just wipe them down with alcohol wipes and stuff. I even went the extra mile and cleaned the gunk off the rollers and the mice back when they still had rollers. Uh, I mean, they had laser mice, but this is a library, so they didn't upgrade. Anyway, uh, and then I would like hose down all the... Uh, the, le the library at my college also would lend out laptops to students if they needed to do coursework. Um, so I would basically like wipe those down with alcohol wipes too. And then my job was essentially if there was a line of people waiting for the librarian, I could go through and answer basic questions because sometimes people would wait in line just to say like, where are the laptops? Or they would want to use one of the uh, assisted reader program or machines, ones that would like narrate books. Uh, or like, I don't know how to use microfilm. Uh, so it'd be like assisting people just operating the equipment or where to find certain things. But for actual research, people would actually talk to the talk to and work with the librarians. So. Yeah, I worked at GameStop for a long time. I worked at GameStop most of the way through college. Uh, worked at GameStop, worked at Staples, um, and worked at the library. The library was great because I got to do my homework on the clock there if there was nobody in line after I cleaned everything. But yeah, yeah, I put in my time at GameStop for the love of the games, man, because that job sucked every other way. It was nice having customers that I could talk to games about with, but most it was just, I mean, I worked the Xbox 360 launch and that was terrible. People were rude as hell back then. Um, and I can only imagine it's gotten worse as, as like supply has gotten more constrained. Yeah, Ruby, we had microfiche as well. Microfilm, microfiche. It's a fun word. It's a fun word. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna step away for a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Back in the game. Always in the game. All right, I have to unlock the menagerie. Might as well do that. Handle. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Keep me honest, please. I am not popular. The others here are ignorant. 
They do not see the end coming. They are not survivors like me. Or you. Before we met, I kept beasts in the encampment. They got into the grain, then the meat. They were not as picky as I now about where they did their business. I learned that rowers do not digest rower meat very well. So I moved them to a new location. The menagerie. Far away. It is a secret place. This is where we will perform the ritual for the first ones. I have built a blood altar for such a purpose. Do you wish to see it? Tell Aina. You will be taken there. Alright, buddy. I don't know what I was doing. To Aina's menagerie exile. This is where I keep the beast. Happy Friday. Just received a text with a mugshot of my former boss in federal jail. I do not. I don't wish anything bad on anyone, but this dude took so many years off my life. The night I drink to sweet karma. But seriously, I think you're allowed to enjoy moments like that. Care of the beasts we capture. It's important to not get addicted to justice because this world can be kind of annoyingly unjust sometimes. But man, when life gives it to you, I think it's fine to uh, to revel in it. First ones that we are worthy of survival. That part is not so friendly to the beasts. But but if you read my. You may consider it an act of mercy. <laughs> Again, humor. <laughs> My poetry is great. Please. <laughs> My poetry is great. Take your time. <laughs> but do not feed the animals. That is Aina's job. The arena just north. That is the blood altar. It is where you will perform the ritual of sacrifice by combat. Once you have captured a few beasts, go to the altar in the middle and begin the ritual. The first ones are watching. Show them you are worthy. Yeah, celebrate these moments. They come along rarely. Yeah, well said. The first ones are watching. All right, let's see if I can survive this. Th <clears throat> Excuse me. This was actually pretty challenging. My my, pre yeah, my previous build. Such a crazy looking skill. Yeah, I got to walk through a, uh, a toy store in Japan. A couple, actually, when I visited Tokyo. I went to one in Akihabara that was just like that perfect, dense, narrow, like, each floor is like one narrow hallway down and one narrow hallway back, except it's like ten floors tall. Now go, survivor. More beasts away. And each floor has its own theme and dedicated, like, toy range. Spent, no joke, like an hour in one store, just going all the way up and all the way back down. When? Maybe tomorrow? It's so insane. And and then it's like, that was like one sliver of one building, of which there are thousands, in that one district of Tokyo. We must be ready. I wonder if it's possible, if you dedicated an entire life to urban exploration, if you could actually see we must most of Tokyo. So crazy. We must sacrifice the beasts we find at the blood altar. I'm gonna go to a toy store like that at my big age. And the first ones will there was another toy store that was a little more more Western in, in design, I guess. That was sort of more like the toy store for 
toy store from Home Alone 2. Uh, it had like big installations and stuff. Not all beasts were born equal, Survivor. The first ones look upon. What do kids even like these days? It's interesting to go to like to the toy aisles and and stores and see what's there. Worthy of sacrifice. It's a lot of like it's a lot of branded stuff. Mine Minecraft toys. Lego is huge. You can use these best tree orbs on any beast in the menagerie. Five Nights at Freddy's. Bound to the orb. Then you can do whatever you want with it. Kiba is both be beautiful and utterly disgusting at the same time. I love and hate going there. What's the hate? Uh, it's a little, it's a little strange. All the, all the like, ladies wearing maid costumes, standing out on the street is a little, is a little weird. It's a little weird. Oh, Marvel, surely? Yeah, probably a lot of that. Marvel and DC. Action figures. I don't know, though. Like, in my... I remember an entire aisle being dedicated to action figures. I don't know if that's still the case. Maybe? I feel like figures have kind of graduated into the sort of huger, higher detail collectibles that adults get. Uh, that adults can afford, I should clarify. Gundam is being sold in Walmart? Really? Like official Gunpla? Yeah, Booth Babe Culture, Ruby. Good way to describe it. Walking around the bigger streets in Akihabara didn't didn't seem bizarre to me though. But I only spent one one day there walking around. So my experience might have been specific to the roads I was on. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I gotta sell some stuff. Hello. All these spectral wings flying around. This is so cool. Many exiles come this way. Eremir is not like them. Not like you. He is an old man with many stories. He teaches us words that you can understand. He teaches we as Miri to be strong. Not in our arms and legs like... Groups. Target has a gunpla kit? Oh. Heads. Happy. I ha so I have my first gunpla over here. I just haven't started it. I've been, and maybe this is the problem, I've been waiting for a dead, like a nothing day where I can stream uh, Hello? putting together the model kit for the first time. But I just, there's been something going on like every day. Either new games coming out. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, playing stuff with Bruce is always, always takes priority. I guess playing video games with my friend instead of putting together anime robots disqualifies me as a true weeb. I haven't found any better mana flasks. I, I just assumed that one would have dropped. I'm kind of surprised that hasn't been the case. This one is Muraka themed. It's so ridiculous. Okay, I'm I'm curious. I actually really want it just at that description. There's no way you can just buy it though, right? You can't just go into a store and buy something like that. Some nerd already came along and bought all of them so that they can resell it. Is there a stash in this? Oh, oh, the, there's a blood blood angel in front of me. I've somehow avoided watching slash reading anything Gundam related in all my years of being into anime. Wow. Interesting. I tripped into it. Like, back when I was young and naive and, like, thought all anime was the best, I watched Gundam Wing. But that's also because they were, they showed it on Adult Swim. A good friend actually taped it and would let me borrow the tapes. So, it did some great work in being a anime evangelist. Which cod is this? This is Cod of Exile. I mean, caught an RPG, finally. Alright. I 
I will go here. I think it's Western Forest. Oh, wait, I can't do that yet. From the Western Forest. Yes, I can. Alright. Okay, alright. Wait. There's a Gundam where they're holding an AR-15? Hold on a second. I have to see this. Okay. Ah! Okay, it's an entry grade one. Oh my gosh. It's only 10 bucks? <laughs> it's holding a goddamn rifle. <laughs> That's delightful. Okay, I have to get that. Thank you for thank you for letting me know about that. I'm still just I can't believe that the buy button is lit up. I I guess at some level I told myself that 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 era of my life was over, that I could see something on the internet that I want and just buy it, unless it's like unless it's like an extension cord from Amazon or something like that. That's the only time it'll ever happen again. Wetlands. Master Chief skins and COD coming up. Let's go. I mean, yeah, right? Why not? Is that weird? I guess that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. No point in looking back now. There's just death and a lot of it. Where's the AR-15 in that link? <laughs> It wouldn't be truly American unless the tiny little gun that uh, comes with the uh, comes with the Gundam also shoots bullets. <laughs> it needs to actually be a working gun. Yeah, tiny little BB gun. Exactly. It needs to like get someone in the eye. In the first day, and then like, but it just—it turns out this is what this is what makes it the most American. When you buy it, you actually sign a terms of terms of service. You have a term of use document that they got you on, where you say you promise not to hold them liable when you shoot yourself in the eye. The remote control tanks that can shoot BBs. That's real free. Let's see. If there's really anything more for me in this area. face to the accursed every name is cooler than the last we just need more pizza launchers has there surely by now somebody on youtube has made an entire video where they try to build a van that fires pizzas off the top does that exist i keep hitting m for map <laughs> it's got to exist right and if so can somebody link it in chat so that i can watch it That'd be cool. That'd be real cool of you. And if not, then I guess I got a I got a video I gotta start start producing. They'd have to be frozen, right? Or they just they just disintegrate. Or like they'd have to be reinforced some kind of way. What's the maximum velocity a pizza can withstand? I think that would be question number one. Get a pizza in a in a in a wind chamber and see what it can take. Because that's really gonna be your upper bound. 
Calzone launcher? Okay. Yeah, if it's got a it's, if it's got a full dough shell. Now we're really doing something. Is that the same though? Does that count? hot pizza shot into your face would burn. That's why you gotta catch it all in your mouth. You gotta eat it like a like a salmon flying out of the water. It's like, oh. If you shot frozen pizza at someone, it'd probably concuss them unconscious. Well, then there's nobody left to uh, witness the crime that just occurred. As long as I don't get sued. Also, if I concuss somebody with a frozen pizza, that would... That would not be good. Oh, they're finally. Jeez. Because Twitch, or sorry, YouTube doesn't like it when you promote harm or whatever. It would be irresponsible content. Shoot, uh, shoot someone with a ballistic frozen pizza. Socially irresponsible. feel good to just see dudes melt. A Dynasty Warriors. A Dynasty Warriors tickle. Yeah, they just dropped so many more bosses and stuff on you. It's good. It keeps it exciting, but it just feels like I'm getting so many goodies all the time. I guess that's the point. <laughs> Does the speed of light count as terminal velocity? I guess, yeah. That's a theoretical terminal. Although, if you could... If you could change a pizza into pure energy... You could beam a pizza across the universe... I guess it would still take a while. You'd have to have a quantum pizza. That exists in another state at another time. Then are you even sure it's the pizza you want? Or is it a multi-dimensional uh, shadow of the pizza? These are rough questions. These are cool. Lightning damage to spells, lightning damage... So when something, when something says an, it's an attack, does attack mean any damage you deal to the enemy? Because like, let's say, like would that add lightning damage to my frost knives? Or is an attack only what you hit with your weapon? I, I think the game actually tells you all this. Yeah, it's, the game's actually, like, astoundingly useful in explaining how it works. Look at this stuff. Nice little graphs, little videos telling you what's up. I love it. Yeah, so this stuff is really cool. They talk about the global and local mods. They're very explicit about what applies to what and in what order. I love that stuff. Let's see here. Attack. One of the main skill types with few exceptions. Attacks use your weapon to calculate damage. Any skill gem with the attack tag is an attack. There we go. Uh, attacks can be both ranged in melee and items and passive skills can affect ranged attacks or melee attacks exclusively. Some attacks such as spectral throw use a melee weapon but are not considered melee. But they're still considered attacks. If it says attack. So let's see. It is an attack. Okay. So if I use this on a ring, it'll put lightning damage on that ability. But I have two rare rings already. I have to... 
can't wait until I find something. That is impressively in depth. It's great. It's great. Like, it's it's one thing for it to be a, a well designed, fun game with tons of content. It's another thing for that to be free. It's a third thing entirely for the game itself to tell you exactly how it works in pretty clear and easy to find ways. That, I think, puts it a, a huge step beyond. Then it's like, you can assume that the internet's there and that people are going to use it. And certainly fans of games do a really good job of providing all the sort of onboarding tools, introductory content and stuff like that. And I, th I think a lot of the times developers may lean on that a little much. But it is really, really nice when a game tells you like itself, hey, this is exactly how this game works. There's no reason to hide anything because the whole point is trying to be good. Or, or you trying to be good at the game, so we're going to give you the info. You'll never accomplish the pizza launcher with Chicago-style air quotes pizza. I guess, I guess then it's a, it's a pizza of Theseus. Well, maybe Theseus would would imply re putting the pizza back together in mid-flight, which maybe nanobots could do. But how much has to fly off of a Chicago pizza for it to not even be pizza anymore? And it's just a mess of ingredients, flying at dangerous speeds. Seems the only people who dislike Path of Exile are the hardcore Path of Exi Exile players. Yeah, yeah, Captain, I tend to agree that you know, only, like, the most hardcore people are the ones who also hate it the most. I feel like it's, it's exactly the same deal with, uh, Destiny. People who play Destiny all the time can't stand it. But, you know, I think the, I think that's just the vocal, the vocal crew. I think there's a lot of people who play games like this and are very engaged with them. And just quietly have fun. Does this game have microtransactions? You can spend money if you want, but it is exclusively on, uh, it's exclusively to make your character look different, so aesthetics if you want to look cool, and stash inventory size. And you don't even really need to expand your stash, because you have four tabs to start with, so. It is, it is the most pure version of, uh, monetization that can exist. Especially considering everything that they give away for free, which is all of it, all the game. And expansion content, which they've just launched another one, Siege of Atlas. Holy moly, that's a lot of spiders. Holy cow, somebody asked if it has an arachnophobia mode. I will check. I would be surprised if it does, but I'll check. It's like creaking, uh, it like squeaks when it walks around. <laughs> okay. I need more pockets. I have that other one for its slots. Man. It's been a long time since you played Path of Exile? Maybe it's time to give it a crack again. Maybe, maybe. I am currently uh, on a sponsored stream for Path of Exile. Thank you very much, Grinding Gear Games, for the sponsorship. It's to celebrate their new Siege of the Atlas expansion, which they added two new endgame bosses. Uh, 
And I had gotten most of the way to endgame on Xbox. But since the expansion's out now on PC, I decided it was time to switch over, start a new character, and uh, try completely different builds. So, having a good time. This game rocks. So many chests. These spiders to squish. I can probably leave, actually. I think about it. What's this? points. Let's see. Don't recover energy shield of evasion reading. Gain a ghost shroud. Lose a ghost shroud to recover energy shield equal to 3% of your evasion rating. I feel like that's cool. Oh wait, I should, I should take this. boots. This one seems the best. Just while you have energy shield. This made you re-download Path of Exile? i love to hear it. Love to hear it. It's a cool game. I'm, I mean, I've, I've been encouraged to play it by members of the stream before, so this is a nice, like, everybody wins. Roblem, thank you for gifting a sub. Oh, Super Green Miner, thanks for the prime. Thank y'all. A spider web spanning a three to four meter gap from the roof of my carport to a tree and it hovers right above stairs we use every day waiting for the day i don't notice it's fallen down and i walk face first into it that's a feeling that sticks around with you for a long time you just gotta zipper your skin down and walk away did decide that that was intelligence tree, but it's the closest. Not gonna lie, that's the most insane skill tree I've ever seen. Yeah, this this is how they can make it so you can customize your build so so extensively. Uh, it is a bit intimidating, but it's not the worst uh, after a while. You don't have to decide everything all up front, even though it kind of feels like that since you see this whole thing. There's another one just for the end game. Yeah, I saw the uh, I saw the trees they were showing for that. That's crazy. Always, always grids to feel. Always uh, buffs to earn. Probably just portal out. I might as well. I have seen warriors in black in the east. They are from your Oriat. Better fed, better armed than you. As soon as I muster the cojones to finally quit my job, I'm picking this up. So why does it follow you here? And this would be a fun game to play during uh during jobs. Or in between jobs. See more than I. Fun game to have a big grip of free time to pour into. If there is danger to us, I need to learn of it. Ooh, a lot of dialogue. I'll get there in a second. Oh, I just picked up a bunch of junk. We are Asmeri. You 
are not. Eramir is not. Life was good when it was just as merry. Yina thinks she knows the spirit, that it talks to her. <laughs> she talks to herself. <laughs> what are you talking about, Picnic? Curved swords? Silk is no hunter. Silk I think I, I think I know. I think I know. That maybe you should. Maybe you should provide more detail. Maybe. Found it in the forest, dead of age. I would like to see Silk face live eight leg one day. What the hell's going on over here? <laughs> Their skin makes good boots. Their spit makes painful death. Unclean. Do not eat of the trees surrounding the chamber of sins. Do not drink of the water and do not rest. The beasts there look weak, born badly. They are faster, stronger than they seem. Things are bad in Path of Exile. Home. We hunt, we grow, we build. Your kind in the forest, kill, steal, and burn. Soon they will take it all, leave us no food. Then we must move, leave our home. Travel far. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I didn't find the... Ah. Uh, that's why. Darn it. Well, wait. Maybe I do go back to my town portal and then it's still there. It is. Oh, thank God. Okay. That's why I didn't just go back to town. I was like, something's telling me that I shouldn't do this. Because I didn't actually find the fast travel point. What, what the heck happened to my skill bar in 14? Disabled skills everywhere? Was there a big balance change or something? Or how long has it been since you played? If, it, if it's been a couple of expansions, then... Uh, then yeah, you might have some skills that have been removed from the game. Or changed, uh, changed the way they work pretty significantly. Grim Strider, the Throat Slitter. Rad. Are the expansions also free? In this game, yes. In 14, no, you gotta buy them. Wouldn't stop. How do they make money? There's uh there's microtransactions or additional purchases to either buy skins and aesthetic effects or for stash space. For for like your shared character storage. That's it. Yeah, cosmetics and stash tabs. of reckoning find you yes bless these devs exactly barf's death god level devs exactly against yes so even though they are sponsoring me now i encourage you to use the poe command of click on the link look into the game download it give it a shot of eternal citizens. it's on console as well torture of the innocent murder of the servants of purity for these most severe crimes I do sentence Doedri Darktongue to burn at the stake till naught is left but ash. May her life serve as penance for the lives she has taken, and let purity sweep away the dust of her deeds from our firmament. High Templar Vol. Ah! Gotta catch up. There's some dramatic shit go uh, going on, but stuff to do how do you have time for all these games goddamn uh well i'm lucky because it's basically my job i i won the lottery of life 
So, I have a lot of time that I can dedicate to it. And wouldn't you, wouldn't you believe that even that is not enough for me? I would like even more, but hey, life is life. Sometimes you gotta do things like eat, sleep, see other humans. I will say, Wombat, that because of that, I since I really enjoy playing a lot of different kinds of stuff, I don't really cultivate a deep level of skill and understanding in any one game. Now, I'm not complaining, that's just an observation. If one game is your game, eh, man, there, there is something about understanding something inside and out. I don't quite uh, ever get to that state. Doom Eternal, yeah, other than Doom, yeah. Now, I kind of made the decision that I, would, I was going to go in on Doom pretty hard. It was basically my reward to myself after switching to predominantly doing streaming that uh, I would get to play Doom in the way that I always dreamed that I could play a game like that. Just really go in on it and learn it. Oh, somehow you really end up procrastinating even in games. Hmm. You find yourself, like, being executionally paralyzed? Put, I guess, a, a big phrase on it. Like, you find you just don't want to do the story thing, you just end up piddling around and finding a bunch of side stuff to spend time on. That was a juicy one, Exile! I go deep on almost every game and I have nearly a thousand on screen. Ooh. That's some hard gaming right there. Nice. You're bad at finishing games, Umbra? Yeah, I... I don't know. Finishing a game has become a different idea. I think it's okay to give yourself permission to put, put a game down. Games actively try to avoid telling you that you're done playing them these days. As opposed to just being a inevitability because they ran out of stuff to do. I could call you the quintessential gamer. Well, uh, now hold on now. Let's not... We don't have to go crazy, alright? We can go a little... We, we have our fun here, but come on. Let's... That's really cute. Mega poison spider spell. You would be a survivor. Or you would be a I then I remember that 4chan post of some dude on his deathbed and he says, I wish I consumed more media. Be yeah. It's I've had to catch myself and feeling the obligation to consume Rise entertainment. Before a storm. Once that starts happening, you gotta sort of sit back a little bit and think about it. If it catches fire, my little tribe has two problems: Oak in the north and Creighton in the east. They succeed in making our lives in Rayclast even more miserable. And then there's the matter of the amulets around their necks, the ones like mine here, stolen, taken when we three called each other friend. There's power in those trinkets, enchantment enough to keep my tribe safe. Bring me a pair of amulets and a pair of lying tongues, and I'll make you part of that power. You need friends in Rayclast, and believe me, I can be a fine friend. Critical strike. I do you like critical strike? Can you help? More than one of these bandits? You get like all their buffs? On your path to replay the Final Fantasy series, now entering the 13 block? Oh, yeah. Oh, just one, okay. There was a different one that was supposed to be better for me, right? Something with like evasion and critical? Let's 
here. Attack and cast speed, 3% uh, movement speed. Yeah. Okay. Life regen, physical damage reduction. Okay, so yeah. Crate Creighton. The one that I want. That's the one. Kill all three, you get plus two skill points. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Bunster. That's the one. What's the moral implications here? Uh, well, moral is that... I don't know. The game has a, has an interesting difficulty being moral, given how fucked everything is all the time. But I guess it'd be helping Alira, who is kind of a bad person. But I'm not going to do that. There's someone else I want. I need to help. Just because they're going to give a better stat buff. So there's like, you have to choose one of four outcomes. All of which are beneficial, but they're beneficial in different ways. So it's kind of neat. Somewhat daring, I would say. Yeah, they're all bad people. A lot of people in Path of Exile are. move for you baby probably you hit the ground quite hard jesus that's a pretty good uh that's a pretty good i just kicked your ass line i can't replace my hat uh gem slots are too good Oh, that was weird. An impromptu sneeze came out of nowhere. I was able to fumble for the mute button just in time. Whew. Hi, banana bread. 077. Thank you for the resub. A great streamer to watch, either in the background or just in general. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you very much. I intend to keep it up. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, uh... I like cozy streams, so I intend to be a cozy stream. Well, cozy plus raw sexual magnitude. I need more puppets. Earth-shattering e-boy appeal. Anyway, back to back to the Final Fantasy XIII content or er, comment. I found myself enjoying it more than I thought I would, but I also kind of. Oh yeah, these things. I didn't play it a uh, ton. I just played it enough to sort of remind myself of what was good and what was not so good about it. It's just so passive and slow. At the beginning, getting through all those cutscenes. your class I'm shadow right now kind of building towards a evasion critical strike sort of build I need more pop watch dead Uh, there's that. And then I'm also right now kind of tinkering with, uh, dropping Contagion and Spirit Leech. And I don't have enough slots for all that, so just kind of dropping Contagion is a little, little gimme. But yeah, mostly going for, for critical attack. Ah! On the, uh, passive, passive skill. Did you used to play 11? I did, SST. I played it. I played it pretty pretty regularly for a couple months, but I just hit a wall. Like I, I wasn't really part of any group. I need more and I pockets. Didn't. I don't know. It was tough to progress in that game by myself, with or with pickup groups. 
I would play for like an entire evening and then die once and it would just all be gone. And that just that just hurt too much after a while. Especially when like like the one night off I have a week kind of thing. combat in that one i did too um i like the environments i like the uh the music i liked that it was hardcore um i yeah you could solo all the content i couldn't i, I was playing white mage monk it was monk and white mage i think i started with monk and then i switched to white mage because i wanted to subclass white mage so i could at least heal myself that was my plan but just getting to level 18 was tough. Or keeping level 18 was tough. PM could solo everything? Man, that's awesome. there. You. How far have you been in uh, Path of Exile? I've made it like halfway or to the end of Act 4. That's where my Xbox character is at. So technically never made it to Endgame, but it's fun so far. I'm enjoying this character build. I mean, where it's at right now, I don't need anything but Frost Knives with some like supports on it, but uh, It's fun to develop it and see where it goes. I can definitely, I could definitely get better gear a lot, of, uh, or I could get gear with more, more slots to kind of enable more things to do. <laughs> Ten acts, then you get to end the game. I thought it was only five. and an epilogue. Oh my gosh. You're kidding. I mean, it felt like I was kind of, you know, 60%, 80% through a Diablo game. Oops, I was not paying attention. Um, 10 distinct acts, and they're all as long as these acts are? You've been busy? Man, no joke. Okay, well, I... I swear I found a, a website that said there were five acts, so maybe it was old or something, or maybe I just completely misunderstood. Accuracy seems like it's nice. Hey. 
Well, I guess I'm not going to get to the end game in this stream then. But honestly, it's like, that's, that's pretty great. Yes. That's even more sweet video game. Man, I truly thought there were only five. I, I had totally convinced myself that there were five acts and that was it. Let the beasts and bandits. I think what it is is I read the I read the patch notes my gift and it was like beat this guy uh, and I was like oh who's that guy and I googled his name More than just spear and, and then it said he was the boss of Act Five. You kill mother of all eight. But now that I think about it, I remember a little sub note that it was like he was also the boss of Act Ten. My spear in the forest. So, found these two. You maybe it actually did say that and I just stopped halfway through the sentence. By Nightblade. Okay. This can be used for maws or daggers. When it says supported skills can only be used with claws or daggers, does that mean? What does? How does? What exactly does that mean? Does that mean this support has to be in a claw or dagger with the skills that it's using? Or it won't work? That's really interesting. If that's what that means. It won't add its support to not those items. Okay, so it won't... Hmm. It doesn't have to be in the weapon, just need to have one equipped. Ah. Okay, so if I don't have a... If I don't have a claw or a dagger equipped, and I connect... I put, like, if I were to put this in here, without a claw or a dagger, in this weapon slot, it just wouldn't... It wouldn't add Nightblade support to Frostblades. It would not do that. It won't work. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I want to mess with this, though. This looks interesting. I need to find now. I need to find a dagger or a sea is open. claw. You are a legend that lives exile. Now I have a build goal in mind. I don't have any of those here. Maybe I can buy one. Buy one, just throw some uh, orbs on it. Yeah, time to buy a dagger. Well, I also have to. Well, I guess I could swap it out my hat. Yeah. What troubles you bring now? Troubles you bring. Was that one to two, 21 to 22 lightning damage to spells? Interesting. All right, well, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. What's up? Hello, I'll figure that out later. How you guys doing? Pretty good. I'm just gonna wrap it up here. Well, thanks again to Grinding Gear Games and Path of Exile for sponsoring the stream. Uh, I thought I put a de decent chunk of it. I guess I got one-tenth done, huh? But thank you all very much for watching. If you guys want to um, check the game out, definitely use the POE command in chat and click on that link. Again, thanks to Grinding Gear Games for sponsoring. Before I leave, let me remind you a couple things. Path of Exile is free to play, but without any pay-to-win features. You can play the entire game for free. If you want more item storage space or to make your character look cool, you can spend money to do so. 
Path of Exile Siege of the Atlas is the latest expansion. They come out every 13 weeks and contain new challenge leagues, skills, items, game balances, tweaks, and more. This expansion improves the end game by making it simpler and easier to access while also providing more depth and flexibility. Like somebody said, there's an entire leveling chart just for the end game. Pretty rad. Uh, well, no, I'm gonna... No more games tonight. Um, I have, uh, there's some guests, so I'm gonna go hang out. I'm gonna be social. But you guys can all find out more about Path of Exile, Siege of the Atlas, and the Arch Nemesis League at pathofexile.com slash siege. You never played Path of Exile? Oh, there's just a lot of people running around. This is a... This is a social hub, so if your boomer eyes can't process it, don't worry. When you start, there'll be a lot more, uh... A lot more, uh... What's the word? Digestible. So, yeah. Well, thank you all very much for watching, and thanks again, uh... To Grinding Gears for the sponsorship. And I'll read over somewhere. But everyone, I hope you have a nice Friday. Play delicious video games. And, uh... Dream Gamer Dreams. See you guys next time.